everybody, and welcome to another stream here on youtube.com forward slash Johnny Cadini. I am Johnny Cadini. It's very nice to be here. And uh, today we are playing Sable, um, which is a game I wishlisted on Steam quite a long time ago because it looks bloody gorgeous. It basically, if the thumbnail didn't tip you off, um, it, it kind of looks to me like um, kind of like Journey, but on a speeder bike. Um, which, you know, I basically, I saw some GIFs of this on Twitter and I was like, yes, I will wishlist this. And then today I got an email saying it's out and I thought, hooray. And then I realized it's on Game Pass. So I didn't buy it. Wait. Which is, it, I mean, it's kind, of, it's kind of the funny thing, isn't it? About, uh, about uh, something coming to Game Pass. It's like being in a queue for a, a sandwich uh, and being like, I cannot wait to buy this sandwich and support this independent retailer. And then someone walks up and goes, Hello, I, I bought you a sandwich. The exact sandwich you're going to buy, in fact. And you go, Oh. Like, I am supporting them. Sort of indirectly. But, uh, but yeah, anyway. Um, hello, everybody. Um, Aiden Folk says, Do you get keys from PR people? To be honest with you, I don't really chase them. Um, I could. I've, I've I've still got some contacts uh, in the games industry, but largely I kind of sometimes you know like the the requirements on a on an NDA now I'm solo are quite uh, intense in terms of like every twenty minutes I have to be like and thank you so much to blah for the key to the thing blah de blah uh, and I don't don't want to do that. So um, a lot of the time I, I don't bother, but this is on Game Pass anyway. So um, a chartreuse goose says, "Was it a tuna spicy sandwich?" No, it bloody wasn't a chartreuse goose. Thanks so much for asking, though. Um, let's jump in. I hope the audio mix is all right. I've played this game for like two minutes. Uh, new, yep, yeah, new game. Uh, to make sure it runs. Oh no, I've played it for five minutes and forty-one seconds. Um, so I'll start a new game, shall I? Will Sawyer says this is a really nice game, been playing it for preview and written some guides, and it's so chilled out and nice, gonna check it out again on Game Pass. Oh good, okay. That is good news. Will Sawyer says it is alright. And Jazzy B says reviews for this that I've seen range from good to very good. Um, yeah, it did get recommended from Christian Donlin at Eurogamer, who um, I adore, so I, I have high hopes. But, you know, like, also, one sec. I certainly hope it goes well, because it feels like the last couple of weeks I've been a bit unlucky with the games I've streamed. I bounced off Rogue Legacy 2, and I kind of bounced a little bit off Eastwood. But with any luck, this is going to be a wonderful, magical experience. Shit works. Trent Steele says, is it out on Game Pass today? It is. Is a skull? Is a snack? Not a snack, a beetle. That really threw me earlier. I was like, oh, it's a forked tongue. No, they're antenna, na, 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 I think. They're cute, anyway, whatever they are. Timothy Thomas says, with this game dropping today, are there any other games you're excited for in the coming months? Um, to be honest with you, I'm excited to finally just have some time to sit down and play Deathloop, because I've got it, and I've just got to the bit where the game opens up, and I haven't had time to play it, so uh, that. Um, what else? In terms of stuff that's coming up, I don't know. What about you all? What are you looking forward to before the end of the year? Martin C says, have you got a new mic set up? It sounds so crisp and bassy. No, this is just my normal mic setup. Deep and crisp and bassy. I don't want to use WASD. I want to use the controller because I used a keyboard and mouse before and the sensitivity is horrible on a mouse uh, with this game, so... Let's just why well, let's use the controller. Prehistoric Oh, Prehistoric Kingdom. AoE4. I really there we go, it's recognized that I'm using a controller now. This art style is very, very lovely. And oh well well well, if it isn't a, a slowly depleting stamina thing next to us, obviously. I think Breath of the Wild has kind of introduced that sort of stamina meter that's depleting thing, and that's not going anywhere, because it's a great bit of design. 
Is that a Helter Skelter in the distance? It is. This looks lovely. Ah, uh, yeah, Timothy Thomas says uh, Horizon Forbidden West. Thomas Kramaskoli uh, says I'm excited for Back for Blood. Yes, I uh, didn't end up playing the beta, but I heard some very good things about that. I think it's going to be pretty neat. Womp! That should have forced my um, femurs through my, through my shoulders, but I'm glad we're okay. Oh, Jan Pale says, by the way, Johnny, you always ask us how we're doing, but how are you? How was your day so far? Pretty good, actually. Um, uh, <laughs> Will says, the two best bits of design in Breath of the Wild were not being able to climb in the rain and degrading weapons. Fight me. No, I think that's fair. I, The degrading weapons I found to be a tiny bit of a faff, but I didn't hate it with as much... I didn't hate it. Uh, but some people were really passionate about how much they hated that part of Breath of the Wild. But, um, yeah, Jan, to answer your question, I'm doing pretty well. I woke up early this morning. The dog wanted to go out to the toilet, so uh, I took her out. And then I got a lot of writing done. Hell of a lot of writing done, which felt very good. And then um, did some work. Well, did some other work. Had a little nap. Walked the dog again. Started streaming. Feeling pretty good. All right. I can feel Jaddy smiling behind her mask, just as I know she can feel the teeth-bearing little grimace behind mine. I'm nervous, and she's softly, sweetly amused. In her eyes, I probably have very little to worry about. God, that's a mood, isn't it? I'm nervous, and she's not taking me seriously, because it, according to her, there's nothing for me to worry about. Obviously there is. Uh, great news, everyone. I just took the ring pull off this can and then promptly dropped it in my beer, so... If you see me choking later, it's metal. You know you have nothing to worry about, don't you, Sable? But that's the name of the game! Uh, let's see. I know, I know. I tell Daddy that I know, but that it hasn't quite sunk in yet. She chuckles. I promise you, Sable, you're fine. But I do know how you are. You're going to be nervous until you've started, and then you'll act like you've been doing it your whole life. Remember the first time you rode a bike? You wouldn't even let me put you on the seat, you were so afraid. Your hands were like little claws gripping onto me. I feel the memory in my fingers. I feel it in my toes. But then I promised you it was going to be alright. I told you how much I loved riding my bike as a young woman, and how wonderful the wind felt through fabric. Suddenly, you were there. You sat down, you leaned forward and put those little grasping claws on the handles and you were off. And I remember thinking, just watching you tear over the sand. Look at her. She can do whatever she wants. Jaddy reaches out and places a hand on the edge of my mask. And you can, Sable. This is very wholesome. What a supportive character. Oh no. J Jazzy B says, I don't like sand. Why is it... Uh is it coarse and irritating? Does it get everywhere? Titan Urena says Christmas songs already. Oh, I don't really... That was Christmas number one, but I don't really consider it to be a Christmas song. Anyway. I take a breath. I think I'm ready. I thank Jelly for the encouragement and tell her with a nod that I think I'm ready. I know you are, so let's get you started. You'll need to talk to... Hilal and Driss. Driss should already have made the arrangements for your bike, and Hilal will share something, well, let's say as useful as it is fun. Hmm? All right. I think I might suspect what Jaddy's saying, but I stay quiet. After that, I suppose we'll see you off. I'll be back soon. I'll t I tell Jaddy I'll be back soon. Sable, don't go planning your return before you've even left. Take all the time you need. It's a big decision you're making out there. Hmm. Mr. Ed's Nine says, what are they burning that's, that there's thick black smoke coming from that campfire? Ha <laughs> ha. I tell her that's why I'm so eager to make it, to choose well and quickly so they don't go too far down the wrong path. Whatever you decide, you do so with my blessing, so don't try using me as an excuse to come home early, eh? All right. She knows me. Now go speak with Hillel. I'll be there to see you off. And speak to Driss as well. I've told him to arrange your bike with Cizo. But you know how he is. I have something to give you, a compass to help you on your journey. It's the same one I used on my gliding. An artifact, you might say. 
I take the device in my palm. It fits naturally there, perfectly weighted and crafted. Each component slides together with incredible, satisfying precision. Thank you! Go on, go on, it's nearly time. Alright, so we've got a compass. Ooh, so that way's north. And here are the people we need to go see. Let's go talk to Hillel. Is this Hillel? I like your mask. What is that? A, a flick knife? Is that a Nokia N gauge? Ooh! Ooh! Do you see that? Wait. Do it again. Well, well, well. As I approach Hillel, they give an enthusiastic wave. I've always appreciated Hillel's nerve and vigour, and on a day like this, I'm ready to match it. With a touch of nerves, for balance. Sable, take this. Hillel hands me a small, round stone. As it nestles into my palm, I feel a warmth not borrowed from Hillel's hands, but emanating from within. I rub my thumb over it and find it softly electric, like static on cloth. What is this? I try to sound less confused than I am, but I ask Hillel what this is. Oh, Sable, you can't leave without it. What I've just given you is a gliding stone. What do you feel? I tell Hillel that I feel... Electricity? Let's just say that. Then you're doing it right. What you feel in that stone is openness. I look at the stone. It seems quite closed. Gliding stones are vessels for the perpetual. They suck up its power like little sponges and hold it there for you to channel. Right now it's empty or dormant and waiting for you to fill it up. I ask how I can do this. Take it to the temple ruins at the edge of the canyon. You'll be able to activate it there. Hillel claps their hands twice and bobs a little. I appreciate their good mood at a time like this. And I appreciate a non-binary character so early in this game. Come back to me once that's done. I want to hear all about it. As I'm about to leave, Hillel stops me. Oh, you haven't got your bike yet, have you? It's a bit of a trek to the temple, so go see Driss. He was meant to get that ready for you. Yes. I remember Jaddy's words now, and I tell Hillel I'll go and see Driss. Quest started. Whispering stones. Ooh, what is this? This looks like something out of Dragon Ball. Postbox. Logging in. Hello, Sable. Unread messages zero. Have a good day. Alright, uh, where have you gone? Alright. Oh, it's this way. Okay. Oh! Well, says a disabled uh, non binary character, too. Hella has a prosthetic leg. I didn't see that. Let's go look at them. Boing! Hello! Oh, yeah! Cool! Sorry, just came to gawp at your leg? Almost certainly impolite, but there we go. Whispering stones. Activate the gliding stone at the altar. Sure, but first, let's get a sweet hog. Bonk. Hmm? Is it... Oh, wait. No, that's the... That's leading us to the temple, but we want to go get the bike. First, let's talk to this chap, I suppose. Uma is a man of few words, and he's nothing if not consistent. Right. Let's see. Quists the ceremony. Right, here we go. That's more like it. Stephen Paul has done a super chat saying, Hello, hello, what is this glorious gem? Um, this glorious gem is called Sable. Uh, it is quite beautiful. It's out on Steam and also Game Pass. I've, I've managed to get a bit lost, which is quite impressive. And I hope no one notices, because I'm meant to go on what's called the gliding, which I assume is kind of like a rite of passage type thing. Um, but I didn't understand how the quest radial worked. So now I'm just sort of running around. Oops. And forgetting which button Sprint is on. It's on B on the controller, which means I'm having to do the awkward... I call this like the Assassin's Creed hook, where you have to be like, eh, and also run. And sort of steer like that. Okay, I'm really embarrassing myself now. Hello? Do you have a bike for me? 
How is it Simon manages to contain so much chaos and verve in so small a form? Even now, there is something troublesome being dreamed up behind that mask. I know it. Okay. One of you punks probably has a bike from... Where is everything? What have I done? Aiden Folk says, is this post-apocalyptic? It's not, nothing confirmed, but I sort of assume so. Because, like, look, there's a sort of a helter-skelter here. Oh, there's the campfire. We can go that way. Ah, let's cl climbing. Good, good, good. Um, like, that's not exactly a functional structure, is it, a helter-skelter? So I kind of assume it is a sort of post-apocalyptic type thing. Okay, so Hillel is over there, which means Driss should be this way. Is that Driss? Let's go have a look. Jacob M says, what is a helter-skelter? A helter-skelter is one of these things. It's a tower. It's a fun ride. You go up it, there are stairs on the inside, and you go up, and then you see the sort of coil there. That's a big slide that goes down the, um, down, down the outside of the structure, and you get in a sack and go down it. Um, it's like... Am I really... Am I really old? The Helter Skelter is not a thing anymore? Hello, I've come here directly from where I was before, knowing, of course, exactly where you are in relation to me. Though I've told myself not to be too eager, it's all I can do not to race up to Driss. I don't know, I did get a bit lost. Bumblerius says, why a sack? You get in a sack so you don't get friction burns. Jacob M says, so that Beatles song wasn't just nonsense? No. Corio Malayam says, never heard of that. Jacob M says, certainly not an American thing. Helton safety gone mad. Martin C. Titan Uranus, Titan Uranus it, it is unrelated to Charles Manson, yes. Charles Manson took it from the Beatles song, Helter Skelter. I think because of Charles Mans Manson, Helter Skelter may have fallen out of usage in the US. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, how long did that take? 17 minutes. We've got lost in the desert and we started talking about Charlie Manson. Let's talk to Driss. Driss is the camp manager. He's been difficult to get a hold of lately, but now I strongly suspect that he's been working on my bike in secret. Perhaps it's extra beautiful or has some custom feature. What will its name be, I wonder? How fast will it go? Will my legs feel sore, or will I get used to it? Driss turns with a bit of a start. Sable! Uh, hello! Hello, how are you today? That's, that's nice, isn't it? I asked Driss how he is. I'm well. I let it hang there a moment. But I can't do it. I'm too keen, and the words spill out. I asked Driss if he might sort of, possibly, maybe, have a bike for me. Your bike! He yells it like it's an idea he's just had. Your bike! Yes, of course, right, yes, your bike that I was meant to... that I prepared for you because today is your... gliding. Yes, Driss nods along with me. Yes, of course, right, yes. Yes, I do have that. My blood runs cold. Have you forgotten? By which I mean I ar arranged it for you in a well... It, it's sort of a tutorial for you. A tutorial? Yes, exactly. A learning experience. You see, Sable, before one can ride their own... Can, wait, before one can own their own bike, they must prove that they can ride a bike by taking a test ride on a different bike. I think about it and find I've never heard of that part of the gliding, but Driss does seem earnest, sort of. So instead of worrying about your bike, I'd like you to try this bike as a test. Driss gestures to the sand cutter at his side. It's quite old and a little shabby. A tester, if ever I've seen one. What's the bike's name? Driss seems scandalised. That's a bit personal, don't you think? Just sand cutter will do for now. Youngsters these days always asking questions. Now, ride the bike through the ring and back. And here's some advice for you, my young glider. 
Don't fall off. When you're not riding it, your hover bike will appear as a blue icon on your compass. Oh yeah, look at that. Ride the sand cutter. It's definitely not a test. Okie dokie. Well, well, well. If there isn't a drift button. So we can accelerate. We can steer. But most importantly, we can strafe. Oh, this is... This is hard with a controller to get the actual drift on. Uh, where's the ring? Is that the ring? Where is the ring? Oh, that's how you strafe. Okay. I, I got to this bit earlier. Oh, you put it in drift mode. Okay, that's pretty great. Yum, 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 yum. Whoops. Drift. Let's do donuts. Are they donuts if you're doing them on a motorbike? Oh, God, that's actually making me feel a bit dizzy. Sorry. <laughs> Ash Versus says, now this is pod racing. Sigh. Cookie Cat 94 has done a super chat saying, this is pod racing. Oh no. What's up, Driss? I passed your test. I returned to Driss, who somehow manages to seem caught off guard despite knowing I was coming. Sable! Congratulations, how was your first pre-glide ride? Any strange rattles? Unexplained hissing? Small fires? What do you mean, fires? Surely you'd notice if you were on fire. Even a little bit. Was that a possibility? <sighs> now everyone's telling me to try spinning, because they hear it's a good trick. Well, obviously it didn't happen, so I think we're fine. Driss, is this bike dangerous? Well, he doesn't finish. Have you already been by Hilal? Am I not getting a bike? Well, you're getting the use of this sand cutter. That's something, eh? You can borrow it to run your little errands. My little errands. And Hilal's got something to show you too. Help out, help you out with more of that uh, mobility you're after. With my confidence in this exercise only lightly tarnished, I think I thank Driss very much for his help and his bike, and I depart for Hilal. Okay. Quest complete. Jack Wood says, can confirm it is possible to set yourself on fire without knowing. Jack, you okay? Right, let's see now. Quests. I need to complete task for Hill Island. Right, let's go to the altar and activate the gliding stone. Chug it, chug it, chug it. They've done a very good job of making this bike feel like a piece of junk. The way it kind of clunks along and the sound of the thing, like this this thing feels like it's on its last legs. I assume, at least I hope, because look at this, this is bloody gorgeous. I hope we'll get a decent bike and be able to glide around really nice and fluidly. If he says I've set my hair on fire without knowing. Uh, I've set my hair on fire by mistake. I leant back into a candle while I was laughing, but I knew about it pretty bloody quickly. Bunburius says, you know, I think Driss forgot. I'm starting to think the same thing, if I'm perfectly honest with you. But right, let's get off this. I really must... That's not a door. That's not a door. What I've been doing this week is playing a lot of Returnal. And uh, I think that's given me a, a false idea of what is and isn't a door. Also, I keep crouching instead of sprinting. Titan Uranus says, on its last legs are still pretty good considering it doesn't have legs. This is technically true. Cookie Cat 94 says, I somehow set microwave pasta on fire the other week. I'm. I'm reticent to ask how. I mean, I suppose the how is with a microwave. That's quite impressive. 
Quill and Jacob says, what is Returnal? It's a PS5 game uh, where you are, you've crash landed on a planet and there are lots of aliens. You must shoot them. It is great. Mabel Teacher says, I once blew up a soldering iron. Emma Benton says, I melted a plate once. Whoopsie. Wow. Are you all, um... Are you all okay? Have I, like, accidentally, just coincidentally, um, assembled a really, really alarmingly uh, accident-prone community? Zelda Mace says, is Returnal a first-person game? No, it's third-person. A third-person skill shooter. And it's great. Will Sawyer says, Hi Johnny, just so you know, there is a bit with some music from Japanese Breakfast. It was composed for the game, but I have no idea if it's cleared to use, so don't get a strike. Okay. Thank you very much, Will. I will have a look. If he says no, we are not alright. Jack Wood says we are definitely not okay. Alright then. Uh, let's see. Sound, 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 sound. There is no mute licensed music option, so we're just going to go with it. Let's see what happens. Activate the gliding stone at the altar! <laughs> Shit! Oh, look. The colour's all leached out of the world. Because we're indoors and it's dark. This little area really reminds me of... The second book of Robin Hobb's Soldier Son trilogy, which I do not under any circumstances suggest you read, because it's bad. Robin Hobb does write good stuff, but wow, that trilogy is not nice. It's just, I, I don't like it. But, that's what this bit reminds me of. But this game seems nice, so that's good. Yep, everyone now. Wow, Argon set a school fume hood on fire once. That definitely counts. Anyway, the stone thrums like the beat of a heart as I approach the altar. Am I afraid? Yes and no. I'm ready for the Rahana to know me. I'm ready to know myself. I feel her curiosity in this sacred place. I know I'm in her sight. Whoa! My burrito! Good bubble or bad bubble? Good bubble, I think. Ooh. Mena L says this is very Breath of the Wild. I can see that. I can see where that comparison comes in, especially with that blue rune-like stone floating up. Excuse me. Rob Cunningham says this needs sting in some speedos. <laughs> Gosh, everyone is now really just sharing stories of their worst accidents. Hope you're all okay. Okay, oh, we can glide. In the bubble, it is a good bubble. Yes, it does feel quite Breath of the Wild, doesn't it? But then, you know, a lot of games have gliding in them. I think that's fine. Which way do we actually want to go? Oh, we just have to go see Halal. Alright. Now, does this thing have a limit to it, or can we glide in perpetuity?
Gliding seems fine. Are we now at a dead end? Yes! My sense of navigation strikes again. Oops, oh no. The camera's a little bit chaotic, especially when you crouch because you're trying to sprint. But, uh... Stephen Paul does a super chat saying, Are we human? Or are we dancer? Um, I assume we're human. I mean, we seem humanoid enough. And they're, again, with the sort of the helter-skelter and stuff, there seem to be little indicators that we are living in a... Um, excuse me. Uh, a post-apocalyptic society. Oh, look, it's where we came in. That's good. Um, but nothing's really been confirmed either way. Now, getting out. I wonder how, where we should climb things. Okay, Will Sawyer says, gliding is infinite, sprinting and climbing uses stamina. Excellent. Jack Wood says, we live in a society. We do at that. Hello, are you a lad here? Oh, what am I doing? What am I doing? Yes, you are a lad here. Just man bun is fine, says I'm yawning now. Sorry, just man bun is fine. I'll try and keep it to a minimum. They said, doing a tiny little yawn. Kind of want to... Ha 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 ha! Uh-oh. Uh-oh! Oh, shit. No, <laughs> wait, yes. <laughs> oh, what's this? Hello. I got 20. I don't know what I got 20 of, but I got 20 of them. Will Sawyer says, if you want any more tips, boy, do I have a guide for you up on Games Radar. Sorry for the shameless self-promotion. No apology necessary. Um... Guides work is a lot of work, as I understand it. So you should be, you should crow loudly about your achievements. Working at Gamer Network, I always was like slightly in awe of the um, the guides writers and just how much work they had to cram in, and like having to write coherently and interestingly on a game that they've only, literally only just played. And they've got to get it up yesterday for the Google ranking. Like, it's brutal, but also vital. I use guides a fair amount when I'm sort of just playing stuff by myself. Just because I don't always have a lot of time to puzzle stuff out. Oh, yeah. Accelerate. That's right. <laughs> Show Halal the activated gliding stone. Then use it to break someone's legs until they give us a decent bike. Mabel Teacher says, I want a video game where the character's random voice noises are done by Johnny. In fact, can we make it so it's applicable for any game? Or like a me voice pack? God, that would be terrifying. Although, one of my friends uh, did the uh, did one of the the voices for um, the player in Demon Souls. So, when I inevitably do um, a playthrough on the channel, I'm going to pick, uh, I think it's female voice number three. Or C or whatever it is, and I'll uh, I'll play with my my friend Sam, just grunting away in my ear. Eh, 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 uh. Okie dokie. This is pleasant, even if this bike is. Um, well, I mean, I'm not driving it very well. Let's just get off. Where's he gone? That where have they gone? Excuse me. Who are you? Oh, you're that, you're that child who's devious. I understand. Will says, wait, what? That's what Sam did? Yeah, 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 yeah. I knew they were in De Souls, but I didn't realise they were the fucking player. That's so rad. Yeah. Um, Sam's one of the voices in Demon Souls. Sam is cool. Uh, come, no. Uh, oh. <laughs> Oh, God. Okay, there we go. It's 
Stephen Paul says the color. Ooh, it grayed out when it went dark. Okay, I'm downloading this. It's nice, isn't it? Oh, it's... Ooh, this is lovely. When I return to Hillel, it's clear they know what I've just experienced. They're excited on my behalf in a way that makes me miss them before I've even left. Isn't it incredible? How does it feel? Safe, like a warm hug. I tell Hillel that I almost feel embarrassed by the perpetual warm and safe... By the... By the perpetual, warm and safe in my own little bubble. They swoon. Oh, that's such a nice way of describing it. Hilal's mood doesn't darken, but the sigh they let out holds a bit of sorrow. You're very lucky, you know. I miss it so much, that feeling just floating on the breeze. But I suppose it's best that it fades with age, hmm? Oh, what? Or else I might never have come back from my gliding. I'd just be out there heaving myself into chasms. I'll heave myself into chasms for you. I tell them I'll throw myself into a thousand chasms on their behalf and they giggle. That's what I like to hear. I know people manage to keep it up, but I don't know that I've got the time to practice as much as they do. It takes a really serious focus. Hillel laughs, even if there's a bit of regret in it, and I certainly haven't got that. Still, I suppose the gliding wouldn't mean much if it were all gains and no loss, hmm? I think about that, but decide that there is already too much loss on my mind, consider it much further. I am saying goodbye to my clan, my family, my home, my childhood. Bloody hell. To lose the perpetual is a sacrifice for another time. You're going to love it out there, Sable, even when you don't. My advice? Try to have fun. There's a lot to be said about ritual and independence and all of that out there, but the world's an easier place if you put joy first. I thank Hillel for their advice and for their help and tell them I'll miss them. It'll be over before you know it. A warning and a reassurance, all in one. I say goodbye to Hillel. Before I go, Hillel gestures toward the tower. It seems Cizo wishes to see me before I leave the clan. Cizo has a task for me. Okie dokie. Uh, the ceremony. Cizo has a task for me. Uh, stop crouching when you mean to run. Oh! They've converted them into st stairs? Maybe they always were stairs. Maybe this was never a Helter Skelter. I love the running animation. I think I saw somebody earlier say it's Ghibli-esque. Um, which, yeah, feels very right in the kind of... What are you? I should probably ask Tingy. <gasps> I got 20 more! Again, I still don't know what the... Cizo is an outclanner to the Ibexi, but I've known her for nearly as long as I can recall, and think of her as more of a kind of distant relation than any sort of outsider. Machinists, I'm told, are given their posts, and by their training in their code must go to where they are needed, but Cizo has been among us so long that it's easy to forget it's an assignment first and foremost. As far as any of us are concerned, she is one of us, and I also think she's about to invite me to play a match in the Crucible, or possibly give me an engram for completing clan tasks. I think there is a, pre uh, a perception among the other clans that the Ibexi are quite insular, or that our designation of Ibexi versus Outclanners suggests some nervous othering of those who are unlike us. I mean, calling everyone else an Outclanner will do that, I think. Swan Levitt says 40 is better than 20. Good. I know, right? But in practice, such things are more the result of our nomadic nature. We seek to know who will travel with us and who we must leave behind. But all are welcome to join. And I am always pleased that Cizo did. Sable, how do you do, clan child? I can only think of one thing. Excited for my bike. A bit worried, am I really getting a bike? Cizo has a throaty quality to her voice, and it rumbles through her mask when she laughs. She's quite a serious person most days, and I am always torn between pride and alarm when I manage to make her chuckle. My old boss used to be like that. Every time I made him laugh, I was like, yes. Yes, Jaddy told me how excited you were. Cizo sniffs. She also told me Driss would be coming along to get your bike together, but I think he may have... I knew it. What? 
I hadn't meant to say that out loud, so I tell her I was just clearing my throat. I knew it. I knew it. Nah. I don't begrudge Driss's forgetfulness. Were I tasked with so many odds and ends, I might be just as scattered. And besides, this will be good for you. I want you to scavenge the hover bike parts yourself! I'm going to make my own hover bike? I ask Caesar if I'm expected to make my own hover bike. No, you won't get to make your hover bike. You're going to build your own hover bike. I just. Like, this does sound like fun. And I am excited to build my own bike. But at the same time. I mean, I don't really celebrate my birthday very. Well, at all, really. But if if somebody went out, happy birthday to you, and carried a tray with some flour, sugar, eggs, cocoa powder, and then like a, a packet of candles in on a plate, I'd be a bit like, hmm? I don't, hmm? Hmm? It's a sort of, it's a weird half promise, isn't it? But uh, Burrito has done a super chat saying, Hi Johnny, how are you? Good to see you. Any fan predictions for Nintendo Direct? Here's to Disco Elysium releasing sometime this century. Just kidding. Take care. Um, I saw some people placing bets on who's going to be in Smash Brothers. Like, cause it's like the fi is it the final characters being announced? Um, I don't know. I wanna, I, all I want to do is take a look at Metroid Dread, really. Will's asked a very good question. Johnny, mate, if you got an unbuilt stuff for your hobby that you enjoy doing, would you feel happy or awful? I feel happy, but, like, there's, you know, Sable's clearly been expecting the bike in a more complete state than we don't know where all the bits are. You know? Oh, yeah. Just Man Bun is Fine says, you, except you also have to get materials. Yeah, it's more like they walked in and sang happy birthday and handed me a shopping list for the ingredients for a cake. Quillen Jacob says, so you don't want Warhammer sprues for your birthday? Actually, no. I've got enough Warhammer. I'm building it now, so that's fine. Uh, set 7, or says 7N, has done a super chat saying, wanted to thank you for breaking the stigma around mental health. Was very ignorant about it, only to recently realise that my own depression and anxiety have been keeping me from coming out for years. Well, congratulations on, you know, do coming out, on, on coming out, rather, uh, and reaching that point. It's not an easy journey, it's not an easy step to make. Um, so, uh, um, thank you very much for the super chat and for the kind, kind words. Um, it is, yeah very good of you and I hope you're doing a bit better now uh, of course I'm going to build to make suggests you are creating something but your bike already exists they simply haven't taken form yet here take this Cizo hands me something this is a navigator you can use it to mark waypoints on your compass it should be helpful useful in finding the old parts I asked Cizo where I might start looking our bikes are reborn in the ruined ships, in fragments spread apart. A good start would be the ship down there near the camp. You'll find another up on that great rock near the other side of the canyon, and another behind the old dam on the hill. Use your navigator to mark that down if you need. You'll need to gather a control panel, a power supply, and a calibrator. I'll be back before you know it. I'll tell Caesar that I'll see her soon and head off and search the components. Together we will create something new out of the old. Those other questions were quite good just then, being like, do people normally do this? But we know the lay of the land by now. No, this isn't normal. Yes, they're trying to make me feel excited about it. That's fine. Ah, using your navigator. Whoa. This is not what I expected at all. Ah, there we go. Oh. Mm. We can mark interesting things on the landscape. Why is that making me feel a bit sick? That's why. <laughs> Okay, so we want to go off back behind there. We c it's okay. It's only got so much range, I think. Oh no! Let's place a marker there. Ooh, and then there was something over there, wasn't there? Why? Why 
why does this actually make that for some reason using this tool makes me feel a bit queasy and I don't normally get that sort of thing in video games what okay oof e it's not exactly as smooth as it is in Breath of the Wild, is it? And then, what was it? It was that ship. Let's just go over to that ship. Because I don't want to use the tool any more than I have to. Oh yeah, I forgot I've got a bike. Oh well, I'm going on foot now. I always do this. Like... I hardly ever ride the horse in like The Witcher 3 or anything like that. Open world games, plus, I mean, you know, some of you have seen my playthrough of Horizon Zero Dawn. Did I get on a mount? Possibly once, or maybe twice. Aiden Folk says, is there full damage in this game? I believe there is, but obviously quite hard to take full damage when you can just glide. You need to. <laughs> oh, well. I just said you need to unlock the lure call, and that, that really got me for a second there. Alrighty, what do we got? Boom! This ship is still smoking! We should really do something about that. Or. scavenge it for fun. There's nothing of use to be found on the ship! But I do notice a blinking light flashing on the dashboard of the cockpit. Hmm, let's see. Do we push the button or leave it alone? Ben Air 42 says, Hey up, I have um, missed much. No, you're all good. Um, this is Sable. We're playing as Sable. Sable's about to go on a gliding, which is a journey on a, a speeder bike. But someone forgot to build us a speeder bike, so now we're building our own. So, uh, yeah. No full damage, no health mechanic, apparently. Hmm. Push the button. A voice crackles from the machinery in front of me. It sounds like a recording. It's barely audible. Stop messing about with those buttons, you absolute idiot. Sorry, Ramin. Concentrate. I don't think I have to remind you how much work it was to get this far. We're almost there. All right, let's see if that machinist told us... If what that old machinist told us holds up. If not, there will be hell to pay. I hear the sound of mechanical adjustments being made. Three clicks. Buttons being pressed, perhaps? Okay, when I push this orange thing, pull that lever. Hard. Yes, Ramin. The sound of a click and a loud grunt before a snapping sound. Oh, on Rahana's mask, not that hard. You've torn it out. Suddenly, the speakers are filled with static and a low rumble that gradually increases in pitch. And then the sounds of someone cheering. It worked. We're flying. More cheering. Is that the sound of someone dancing? Okay, okay, let's focus. This thing is moving fast. We need to slow it down a bit. Mabel Teachers says, Oof, I think I may have to go. This cold is completely destroying me. Time for bed and probably sleep. I'll catch up another time. Love to you all. Take care, Mabel Teachers. I'm sorry you're feeling really under the weather. Um, yeah, go rest and feel better. Lots of fluids. Plenty of rest. And we'll be here. We'll, we'll be here. You know where we are. How do we do that, Ramin? Let me check the machinist notes. A long pause. The rumbling static sound that started playing when the ship took off is still increasing in pitch. That is worrying. Ramin? That lever, Thomas, the one you just ripped out. We're going too fast, we're going to crash, we need to try to... The recording cuts off here. Yikes. Anything else? No, 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 no. Leave the button alone now. Okay. Well, they did a big old crash, didn't they? Okay, well, I don't think there's... I think basically people have already stripped this bit for parts. Oh! Ah. Are you looking for a calibrator? Says Saima. Yes, but first I have an important message for you all. M. Lux has done a super chat. It's of some sort of fruit. It has a large rotund lower half. And the top kind of goes up into a small dome like this. It is wearing a headband. Uh, across what I guess counts for its brow. It is white with a red stripe 
uh, it's wearing some aviator sunglasses um, and it's turning around on its legs and lowering the glasses as it waves like this repeatedly and above it some text says hey you um, and that's what the sticker is. Thank you very much, Emlux. That's a delightful little thing to bring into the chat. Um, although, Emma Benton says, not this pear bullshit again. So, maybe, you know, I liked it. I am immediately on guard. Simon has always been a mischief maker and taken tremendous pleasure in tormenting me. In theory, I am older, more experienced, and should be more than able to withstand it. In practice, you won't find it here. I've hidden it. You will never find it. Never, never. She never fails to get to me. You are a horrible child. Simon laughs off my irritation, but I'm not going to give her the satisfaction. I cross my arms and try to effect a change. I'll give you the calibrator. I put out my hand. Proud of myself for standing tall for Simon. If you give me some beetles. That's a fair trade, isn't it? Something you want for something I want. I try to decide if it's more mature to push her over and steal the calibrator or to acquiesce. I mean, is that a fair trade when she hid it from us? Hmm. Oops, sorry. Smash. Emma Benton says, I'm going to lob a pair at you the next time I see you. But then I simply stifle a sigh and shake her little hand. Perhaps some of the adults in the cap, camp, 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 know where I can find some. Beetle detour. You little shitbag. Oh, my bike. Oh, no, my bike followed me. Right, beetle detour. A beetour, if you will. Jack, <laughs> Jack Wood says, Simon is a prick. <laughs> that message has been held for review, though, but I enjoyed it. Hopefully someone else can get to that and approve it, because tee hee hee. I'm going to level with you, chat. I know what a pear is. I've known what a pear is all along. I actually really like eating them. They're a delicious fruit. I just I just like never met saying the word while I'm describing the stickers. It makes me giggle. Burrito has done a super chat saying, Super me the apple jokes, please. Hee <laughs> hee. There you go. You you have been spared. I admit it. I've known what a pear is all along, and I had a great time making some of you believe I actually didn't know. Emma Benton says I knew it. Yeah. I mean, I wasn't subtle. I was pissing myself laughing. <laughs> right. Oh, that the camera. The camera, you are difficult. All right, let's ask some chumps. Hi. I could ask about catching beetles for that awful little Simon. I will. Do you know where I can find some beetles? Can you imagine? Can you imagine being like, I'm so proud of you as you go off on this journey and find your way in the world. 15 minutes later, they're like, where can I find bugs? Simer is, is a little little hellion. Uh, CookieCat94 has done a super chat saying, Heard about the fire at the dried fruits factory? It was an apricotastrophe. Thank you for the super chat, CookieCat94. Mm-hmm. Do you know where I can find some beetles? There's a nest of beetles just east of the, here. You can't just walk up to one and catch it, though. There's some seeds growing on the rocks around the nest. Drop a seed on the floor and the beetle will start eating it. Then you can sneak up and grab it. Well, thank you, Jaddy, for not asking me what the hell is wrong with my gliding. Uh, right, the rocks around the nest, and it's to the east. Hello, little glider. Bye. That's big glider to you. Tell you, I am actually a big glider. She laughs. You're right, you are. Sable, noted adult and big glider. I'll keep it in mind. Right. North, which means we want to go east. Oh, you need to hold for the bubble.
Oh, I could ask Janny about Simon's hiding place. That is interesting, Will Sawyer. That seems like the kind of tip that you might be able to find in a guide on Games Radar. I kind of want to catch some beetles, though. So, Tony Uranus has done a super chat saying, That fruit doesn't even look that much like a pear. I have seen French mineral water that was pearier. Fuck! <sighs> Thank you, Titan Uranus. Swan Levitt says, Soma, get your own bugs, you cretin. Oh, no. Oh, Peria. Scandinavian! I really can't remember what stream that was in, and it bothers me now. All right, beetles, where is your nest? Is this a nest? It's huge! <laughs> Neko the kitty says, oh dear, it's Bug Snacks, the Mad Max version. I'm enjoying this, uh, whereas Bug Snacks made me profoundly uncomfortable. So, you know. No disrespect to those who like Bug Snacks. It, was, it just creeped me out a little bit. This feels... Oh, great. Chaos clipped it, and it's in the Keo Discord under episode discussion. Great. Good. Ooh. What's over here? I just want to see this now. Lovely exploration. Up yours, Saima. Oh, oh, God. Oh, Christ. All right. Smash into a wall. Climb the wall. This all seems fine. What's over here? Just realized I've once again abandoned my bike. <laughs> Hello, you. Eh, 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 eh. Activating the wall of light with whale oil. I don't think any beetles live here. I'm having a great time. But it doesn't, it does, it feels adjacent to our quest. Oh, wait. Ah, great. Found a power supply, and then we just have to beat up a small child until she gives us what we're after. Cool. Ben Air 42 says, the graphics kind of remind me of a 3D Genesis Noir. Whereas Stephen Paul says, I'm getting more and more post-something vibes here. Post-emotional hardcore? Stephen Roger Benson says, I don't know, I could imagine Ringo Starr voicing something here. Thomas pulled into the station. Said, oh great, I'm a train. My Ringo Starr impression is way off, apparently. Clive Barker's bug snacks more like, says Rob Cunningham. <laughs> Iffy says I'm reminded of old Tintin cartoons. Interesting. I wasn't getting that vibe. Oh, post-apocalyptic, Stephen Paul. Right. Okay. Well, we've got a third of the parts we need. Now if we only knew where insects live. Jonathan Moses Raphael Pena says the art style reminds me of Void Bastards. That's a great bloody game. I've been tempted to stream that a few times and then I'm like, do I really want to deal with trying to publish something on YouTube that has the word bastards in the title? I'm not sure I do. But it's a lovely roguelike. CookieCat94 says this feels very N64 platformer slash exploring game. I like that this is getting so many different reactions from people. It's... Like, it's really striking, isn't it? Like, I'm enjoying it a lot. 
which is nice. I've, I felt like we could do with a win after that. Oh, burp! After the last couple, fucking hell! After the last couple of streams, <laughs> Will says, "Stream void bastards," all in caps. I knew you'd have something to say about it, Will. I know you're a big fan of that game. Sure, I'll give it a go. I mean, it's not, you know. You may have noticed from the general vibe of the channel that chasing SEO up to my... Ha-ha! Boogs! Uh, chasing SEO stuff is not exactly my number one priority. Hello, Boogs. Ah, shit! Oh, no. You're afraid of me. That's all right. They're more afraid of me than I am of them. All right. Beard Burrito's in the chat. Hello! It says, Oh, Sable is so, so lovely. I agree. Right. If I were a beetle, and I wanted to eat seeds, where would those seeds be? Putu Putra says, it's like Return of the Obra Din. Hmm. I also see that. Games are great, aren't they? They're so varied and nice. Except for when they aren't. When they're generic and bad. But you know what I mean. In ground, says Cooking Hat 94. In ground. Is that where the seeds are? Mm. The seeds are on the pom pom looking trees, says Tech Priest. Thanks, Tech Priest. I wouldn't. I, yeah. Yeah, no, thank you. Let's go teach that child a lesson. I'm going to make her eat these bugs. Right, pom pom looking trees. Pom pom looking trees. Are they internal pom-pom looking trees? That's a rock. Well, trees are from ground. Oh, well, trees are from ground, says Cookie Cat 94 Yes, I suppose I shouldn't have climbed. Understood. Hello? Pom-pom looking trees. <laughs> Titan Uranus says English trees? I object to that. I don't. I don't really give a shit. Pom-pom trees where beetles are, says Sainted Karma. Thank you, Sainted Karma. We're going to fall off, aren't we? Mmm. That was generous. Dan Keller has says, has Johnny picked up any of the chum worm the chum worm bug eggs yet? No, wait, chum worm bum eggs. No. No, I haven't picked up the chum worm bum eggs. What's a chum worm bum egg? I don't want to know actually. Do 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 Pom pom looking tree Pom pom looking trees. Oh, we should climb them. Understood. Thank you. <laughs> now to drop on them from above and capture them. Eh, eh. Stop being afraid of me. Eat your delicious seeds. You know what? While we're up here. <gasps> oh, you see the little love hearts coming out of it? Oh, they're shy. All right, here we go. It's all right, little bugs. Yum, 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 yum. Wow, that was easy. Yellow elephant beetle. <laughs> oh, they're adorable. Get him a pocket. Give the beetles time. She likes to play in the cave underneath the camp. Little freak. <laughs> Sorry, that was mean. You're near a chum worm near the pom pom trees. What the hell's a chum worm? Why do they have bum eggs? Let's just watch this beetle eat this this seed. Num. You know what? I think we'll learn about bum eggs later. Oh, 
Oh shit! Uh, right, where's my crap bike? Sorry, I mean the bike I'm very pleased to have before I go on my gliding. Neko the kitty says, you cannot give those adorable things to a child. They won't stand a chance. And if I want a bike, apparently this is the price I have to pay unless I'm willing to ask an adult about the secret hiding place. But we've already got the Beatles now, so we may as well. Also, I saw a thing recently. Oh, sun's going down. Looks like all oh, the colours leeching out of the world now. Um, I saw a thing recently talking about how Sid from Toy Story did absolutely nothing wrong. He's just a budding artist. How was he supposed to know that the toys were alive? And that made me think. So yeah, you know what? All right, he d he blew up some toys, and that was mean. But all of the the combining of them—that's just kit bashing, mate. I do plenty of that. Aiden Folk says, "If this was Dice Breaker, you'd have to sense a bum." A word I hated that in joke. To be honest, it really bothered me because "bum"'s a word I use a lot, and it's also not a swear word. So we were self-censoring with a um. With a word that's just fine and useful. <laughs> but hey-ho. Now I can say it all I want. She likes to play in the cave underneath the camp. That's right. It's like I listen and then don't listen. Hello, you rotten little... I feel, I feel embarrassingly vindicated as I hand Simon the Beatles. But rather than gloat, she hands me the calibrator and... Begins to cry. What have I done? You're leaving, you're leaving, and you'll never come back. That's the plan. All right, chat. We comforting her or letting her cry it out? Mankoy says, probably going to have to sign out now so I can deal with the class I TA for, but I'll catch up with you all later. Take care, Mankoy. I hope the class goes well. Oh, Unbearable says, Sid also tortured his sister and loved to destroy her things. I'm not saying he was great. You know? Uh, let the brat cry, says CookieCat94. Mlux says, cry. Aiden Folk says, comfort. Comfort. Let her cry. Comfort her. Comfort. She's a literal child. Yeah, fine. Uh, no, sp Sid specifically aims to cause pain and destruction and he enjoys it. Oh, okay. All right. Bristolian Stag Beetle says, To be fair, Sid did attach a doll head to a Meccano crane. He deserved what was coming for him. He just, he just, you know, that's, I think that's kind of cool. It's Admechi. It's, you know, Adeptus Mechanicus. It's it's 40k to a, to a T. That kid had a future. You know, that's all I'm saying. Be the bigger person and comfort. Simon just wanted us to stay. All right, we're going to comfort her. She blows her nose and then wipes her hand on her tunic. Yara never came back after the last gliding. Aren't you sad? You were her friend. I miss her too? I miss her too. There's been a letter here and there, but it is always to us rather than to me. I'm not bitter, but I hope not to be like that. Please don't go. I tell Simon not to worry that I will be back sooner than she knows, and I'm sure she pouts behind the mask. And I add that if I am not back sooner than she knows, then she'll be ready for her gliding by them, and she can come bother me herself. Promise? I say yes. <laughs> I say yes. What I mean is, fuck no. Um, good, then I suppose I can come see you off. I thank her and say goodbye for now. Then I go into her cave and see what I can steal. What is this? What is this bloody massive? Hello. Abexi red dye, the dye bottle for the colours of the Abexi red bike. I can dye my bike? Yes, please. Right. See you later. He had a grim, dark future. I just, yeah. Darth Wookiee says, so what's the core motivation in this game? Adventure! We are, um... Oh, we need to find a power supply, don't we? 
we are uh, about to set off on sort of a, a rite of passage journey across the wastes, I guess, if indeed they are wastes. Um, but first, we need to find some parts to build a better bike than this one. So we're going to chunter on out to whatever's over here. I think I see something glowing. And hope that it contains a power supply. Oh, there's a cave within that cave. That was the hiding spot. Gosh, Will Sawyer, if only, if only I had the assistance of some sort of guide, possibly on a site like Games Radar, that I could use as reference. But where would I find such a thing written by such a talented person as, I don't know, Will Sawyer? We can, well, if I remember, and that's a big if, we'll, uh, we'll have a look in a bit. Eh. Whoops. M. Lux says, if Captain Haddock pops up, I'll be delighted. I feel like I should get that reference, but I didn't. Piss off, bird! Yeah, take that. It's my gliding, not yours. That looks ledgy, doesn't it? Can we ooh, get a little bit of a rest here? No, we're going to fall off the wall. That's fine. Bubble. I would be such an obnoxious little shit if I had a bubble like that. Constantly jumping off things. Being like, oh, I'm going to fall. Whoa. Bubble. I didn't even need the distinction of if I had a bubble. I can be an obnoxious shit anyway, I think. Oh, that's right. Captain Haddock is from Tintin. Thank you. <laughs> bubble. Wait. Did we come this way? No, we were down there, weren't we? This music's good. Albert Green says, wait, they can fly now? They can fly now. Oh, I started watching that The Mandalorian recently. I've watched two episodes of that. I think it might be quite good, you know. Always got my finger on the pulse. And you know what? I think it might be quite good television. So it's set in Star Wars, it is. Here you go. Boing. What is this? And why does it look very dangerous? I'm going to land in it. Oh, no, I'm not. Okay. Well, that seems like it's powered by something. And if I know powered things, it's that they tend to have a power supply. I hope I just made the right decision in jumping off this. Somehow I suspect I did not. Hello. What are you powered by? Ah, uh, ooh. Cuts. A cache of a hundred cuts. Made from metal harvested from crashed ships. They have holes punched through the middle where a rope can be slid through for easy and convenient transportation. Hmm. Thanks, chest. Oh, that's what the numbers are. All right. We've got 140 cuts now. That is a weird name for a currency. <laughs> well, we got a lot of cuts. Yeah, it's just weird. But, um... Kind of have a feeling we should have stayed up there for the old... Getting hold of the... Getting hold of the... 
what do you call it? Power supply. Let's just. It'd be quite quick to go back up, wouldn't it? Yeah. Titan Uranus says, weirder than pounds. Well, I'm used to pounds, obviously. Uh, and I'm not... Uh, don't get me wrong, I'm not here to defend anything British. Not one bit of it. <laughs> Although, if people come for London, then I will fight them. Good luck or a quick death has done a super chat saying nothing. Thank you very much. Good luck or a quick death. Uh, if there was a message that was meant to go along that, alongside that, don't super chat it. Just uh, pop it in chat and I'll read it out with all of the weight and gravitas I normally give to super chats. Like this one from Timothy Thomas who says, Thank you for a lovely time, Johnny. Gotta go get ready for work now. We'll watch the rest on catch up. And then there's a boar and a little scooter um, emoji. Um, thank you very much, Timothy. Um, I hope work goes well, and um, yeah, I hope I hope I hope you have a lovely time. Basically, thank you for tuning in. <laughs> Aiden Folk says independence for London. I mean, I'd vote for it. Hello. Well, if it isn't an atomic power supply, maybe we can finally get that guy to build me a bike. Oh, no, wait, it's Caesar's, uh, um, a woman, and Caesar says we're going to build it, so I guess not. All right, let's go find our current bike. I'm just kidding, I got a bubble. Map map. Lucy says the potatoes with the cream and stuff in it are good though. They're British, right? Oh, you talking about you talking about potato dauphin noir? Because I, I don't know if they are British. Titan Uranus says London, the city that gave us Boris Johnson. L don't pin that shit bag on us. Mash, says Aiden folks. Yeah, mash is Mash is good. I like mash. I haven't had mash in a while actually. Lucy says lol no, Gratin Dauphinois is French. It, it, decidedly, but what are the potatoes with cream in? Surely you don't just mean mash. Loki Akai has done a super chat saying, Pouring more meadery monies into your hat so you don't end up like this protagonist. Not a beer garden in sight. Thank you, Loki. That's very kind. A bucket! Shit. Okay. Yorkshire pudding? Yorkshire pudding's not a potato thing, David Story. Baked potatoes? I'm pretty sure baked potatoes are sort of a worldwide thing. Potato salad? Lucy, we need to know what the potato thing you're talking about is. It's going to drive me drive me up the wall. No, no, the entire potato with skin cut in a cross and cream and stuff in the in the cross, you know? A baked potato. It is a baked potato. Oh, you're welcome. I didn't really think baked potatoes were a British thing, but you're welcome for them. Jack Wood says Yorkshire pudding would be too powerful if it involved potatoes. Oh my god, I once I once watched two tourists uh, eating a roast dinner uh, in London, and one of them picked up a Yorkshire pudding and was like, "What the fuck is this?" It was just like I do not. I was like literally like, mm. and then he picked up some meat and put some veg in and put in a potato and got the gravy and went duh, 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 folded it up and ate it like a little dumpling slash sandwich, and it blew my mind. I was like, why? How have I never thought to do that? It was... It was incredible. Uh, Lucy says, Baked potatoes are British for me, but I don't know. Yeah. Tech Priest says, Buy a map from the cartographer. Hmm. Where's the cartographer live? I 
want my bike, though. Who are you? Are you a cartographer? Sell me a map. Zeki's shoulders sag a little. What you thinking about? Zeki's voice is weakly incredulous. I don't know how she's done it. That's Ilaria over there. Follow her gaze to a little speck, which I now understand is her daughter. Do you want me to get her back? Sainted Karma's on a super chat saying, Would you ever think of streaming Slime Rancher since Slime Rancher 2 was announced last year? I think it would be a nice laid back stream game. I loved the and uh, the non binary uh, PC. Um, I wasn't playing it myself, but a friend of mine was playing Slime Rancher and streaming it on Discord while I was playing something else. Um, and it did not seem relaxing at all. It seemed very, very stressful. Uh, so I don't, I don't know. Maybe I, I'll tell you what. I'll give it a go by myself, and then we'll see. Um, what are we up to? Let's go, see Cizo. Cizo, and then we'll we'll bother about the cartographer. Hopefully, they'll make themselves apparent. Boom. Swan Levitt has done a super chat with a potato emoji saying, boil them, mash them, stick them in a stew. I think Sam's being a right prick in that bit, to be honest with you. But then that's kind of Sam and, and Gollum all over in the films. It's completely overdone, that stuff. I have many opinions about the Lord of the Rings films. I love them, but there are also many bits where I'm like, mm, they did Boromir dirty, for example. Okay. Remember the sticker that happened earlier? Because it's happened again. It is a large piece of fruit. This large piece of fruit is heavy on the bottom and a lot more slender atop itself. It is. It has its back to us. It is wearing a sports headband of some description and uh, it keeps turning around and lowering its sunglasses as if to say, Hey, you. Hey, you. And uh, that's that's what Emmy Little's just dropped in the chat. Thank you so much, Emmy Little, for the stick air. Hello. I return to Caesar with the pants, and it's and it's as she waves me over that I feel a pang of sadness in my chest. When will I see her again? Once I'm gone. Well done, Sable. Yes, this is everything we need. Are you ready to assemble a bike of your own? I'm ready. Then let us head over to the workshop. Oh, I could hover. Okay. Thanks, Tech Priest, for the, um, for the uh, info. Caesar relaxes in the workshop. It isn't that she's particularly rigid or anxious ordinarily, but there's a certain calm beauty that only that one only truly appreciates when Caesar is in her element. I wonder if it's this way for all machinists. What you must understand, Sable, is that the components you acquired, they fit together not by chance, not by effort, but by nature. They belong to her. They have always belonged to her. All we are doing is assembling her from what she has already been. Bamburius says, building a lightsaber vibes. <laughs> Swan Levitt says, Johnny, do you speak any Italian? Tiny bit. I'm learning. Really tiny bit. Um, I'm having a lot of fun learning, but yeah, I'll, hopefully I'll get better. I nod and feel a soft buzzing in my ears. This does have building a lightsaber vibes. Among my clan, we believe that machines have names held for ages like deep secrets unheard by those unequipped to listen. Hello there. We will find this one's name together. Assemble the machine. <laughs> Gliding bike wings. Gliding bike booster. Emmy Little has done a super chat saying, Question, Brighton or London? London. Um, I was born in London. It's where I've lived since, like, I turned... The week I turned 18. Um, it's, it's just home. I like I like Brighton, but uh, Brighton for me also now just sort of... I went this week um, for my wife's birthday. We spent the day down there, and it still reminds me quite a lot of work. 
and just sort of being tired from getting up early in the morning and schlepping down there. So, but there we go. Gliding bike front. Ooh. Meep, meep. Will says it's pretty sad to be, hear Johnny be so wrong. <laughs> Speak to size Cizo. Cizo, Cizo? Cizo, Cizo. Listen. Hey! Cizo tilts her head a moment, listening closer to Simoon. All at once, I know the hover bike's name. Simoon. I say it in a whisper to let Cizo know. Sea moon. Sea moon. Well done, Sable. What does it mean? What does it mean? You should ask her yourself. Cizo looks entirely serious. The bite to my enduring surprise says nothing, even when I lean close. I tell Sea moon that I'm eager to know her better, and Cizo looks quite proudly at the both of us. You are ready, then, for the gliding. May all the gods turn their faces from you, Sable. What? An odd blessing, perhaps, but Cizo was prone to such things, and I can read in her tone that it was meant quite sweetly. You must learn to listen to Simoon, to care for her. Seek out my fellow machinists on your travels, Sable. They will teach you the art of machine whispering. Oh, and here, take this. It's a machinist badge. You'll meet plenty of my ilk on your gliding. Show them your worth, and they'll give you more badges. I thank Cizo twice for good measure, and give a bow. I am ready. The ceremony. I should speak to Jaddy about the final gliding ceremony. But first, apparently I should buy a map. So that means going back up the Helter Skelter. Which is over there. Sir Anthony of Hawks says, I really want to rub Johnny's beard. Is that weird? Lots of people have expressed that desire before. Uh, my only ask is that people do it uh, well, don't do it without permission. It's not weird. It's a, you know, it's a fun beard. I'm attached to it. But, um, yeah, do ask before rubbing my beard. Cut about two-thirds of it off this week. It was a lot longer. Fascinating, isn't it? Right. That looks like a platform onto which I can glide. Shoot! Look out, child! Well, you look like a cartographer, don't you? Ilaria, the balloon was more fun than the person in it! Understood. I approached the cartographer. <laughs> CookieCat94 has done a super chat saying, What do you call a French dog that loves potatoes? A pomme de terrier. I approach the cartographer. Ah, greetings, child. I saw you looking longingly at my great balloon. Quite a piece of work, isn't she? It's bigger than I thought. I tried to explain that when I first saw the balloon, I thought it was very small and somewhat far away. But now I see it's quite large and was very far away. I fumble through the, through the explanation, though, and the cartographer just nods without saying anything. I nod back. Wow. Well, good to meet you, and oh, I should introduce myself. I'm Jordan. I tell him I'm Sable. Suppose if you've come all this way to see me, it's probably a map you're after, eh, Sable? I would love a map! I tell the cartographer I'd love a map. Of course you would. That'll be 50 cuts. To my ears, it's a fair price for a map, but too expensive for a pre-gliding glider with empty pockets. I tell Jordan I'll be back. I need to ask Jaddy for some money. Farewell, child. What are you talking about? I'm loaded. Corvus Albright has done a super chat saying, YouTube didn't tell me you were live today, so no Jaeger bombs for them. That means more of them for us, though, right? Eh? Nudge, nudge. Oh, gosh. Hooray. More Jaeger bombs for us. I'll do one one day and I'll document it for you. I promise, Corvus. Right. I've... I am rich. Greetings, chat. I have the cuts. 
Why am why is my money no good to any of you? Why do I have to go ask Jaddy for it? Honestly. Neko the kitty says, We're lousy with cuts. Pay the man. Exactly. All right. Hey, what's up? I need to fleece you for money. I've got loads. Whoops. Ah. Hang on. There we go. I tell Jaddy that the cartographer wants 50 cuts for a map of the UR. I try and hedge the way I speak about this as if I'm as I'm not entirely sure whether that's too much, not enough, or precisely its value. She tells me not to worry. Here's some money to get you going on your Oh, she's given me 200. Use it mostly wisely and then a little unwisely when the mood strikes. This is why you never you can never ask older people who love you for money. You can be like, "Hello. Can I have two pounds? And they'll be like, yes, here's 400 pounds. And you don't have to pay me back. Oh, oh no. It's just, oh, it makes me feel awful. She gave us 200. We could afford that map three times. And she gave us four times its worth as money for us. Damn it. Meanwhile, Rob Cunningham says pan fried gnocchi tossed in pesto is freaking awesome. That's what I made for dinner last night. Rob? So there you go. Made the pesto myself from my basil plants. Included a chilli from my chilli plant. It's pretty good. Anyway, it's good to know the value of money, but you never want to be ruled by it. Jaddy, you just gave me 200 cuts. I thank Jaddy effusively and head out on my way. Damn right. Purveyor and surveyor. Very good. Okie dokie, back up the thing. Up. Up. Oh yeah, the stairs. That's right. <sighs> Chaddy. Right, you. Guess a map then. Greetings, child. I'll buy that map. Perfect, let's trade then. I could have bought this earlier, honestly. Aha! I seem to have nothing left for you. Ha ha! Sell. We can't sell anything. Close screen. I thank Jordan for the UR map and all its vast possibilities. Something about this makes it feel more real. Rob Cunningham says, Making pesto with wild garlic is freaking baller. I love it so much. Yes! I am... Um, I am going to plant some wild garlic very, very soon. We have some little bulbs, or seeds, I suppose, uh, that like are waiting for the right time. Can't wait, because that stuff's delicious. Anyway, good luck on your gliding, Sable. I still remember mine. Oh, yeah, and three-cornered leeks. Three-cornered leek pesto is amazing. Anyway, sorry. Good luck on your gliding, Sable. I still remember mine. <laughs> I asked how it was. Short. I knew since I was a boy that cartography was for me, but I spent a little extra time out there just to enjoy the world. Speaking of, keep an eye on the skies, eh? Plenty of my colleagues out there, and they'll have more maps to sell you from Hakoa to the Sodic Waste. I thank Jordan for the tip, and say goodbye. Farewell, child. I want to be a carnogra. Oh, I want to be a carnogramma too. What is that? Is it when you take pictures of, of steak and put it on, on Instagram? Oh, searing joke, that. Brilliant. Great work. All right. <laughs> Just kidding. Hi, old bike. Well, still my current bike. You know what, everyone? Um, we normally have a break around 6pm, but I need the toilet. So why don't we have a break now, eh? We'll have a little, whoa, five to seven minute break. Uh, Will says, genuine worry. I think this game might be too big. It's, I mean, I'm really enjoying the sort of, the, the ploddy pace of it right now, if I'm perfectly honest. I don't know how long it actually is, but... Drift... Anyway, um, 
yeah, let's let's have a five to seven minute break. Uh, have a stretch, get some water if you need it. Uh, you know, just do whatever it is you need to do. Are you wa are you warm enough? Are you wearing a jumper? Um, I'm gonna go to the toilet. I'm gonna freshen up my drink, uh, and I'll be back in in five to seven. So um, yeah, take care of yourselves. Um, if you're not going anywhere, here's my dog and some smooth jazz. So enjoy that, and I'll see you in a little bit.
From the minute you walked in the joint, bah, I could see you were a child on a mission, a real bike mender. <laughs> Mend a little bike for me. <laughs> child! Right, let's go see Jaddy. And then we're going to set off. On Simoon. I return to Jaddy with a new likeness. And it makes the weight of my departure feel heavier still. On a strange day. Sable, is that a badge you've got there? Caesar gave it to me. I told Jaddy that Caesar gave me the badge. Oh, I could have said I'm already gliding. Then he must have earned it. Well done. I give a bow of thanks. Well, Sable, if you keep this up, you'll be headed for the Mask Caster in no time. I try to think about going to a Mask mask Caster. That is hard to say. I mean, I had some little pretzels during the break, but Mask Caster. Mask Caster. Mask Caster. Mask Caster. Red lorry, yellow lorry. Red lorry, yellow lorry. Mask Caster. Mask caster. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Mask caster. But it seems to be impossibly far away. <laughs> impossibly far away. That's where I stumble. Great. Impossibly far away. Imagine choosing what I want to be. Mask caster. Cask master. Now that I can get on board with. Imagine choosing what I want to be forever. I know what you're thinking, but don't worry about it. You'll get plenty of badges when you're out there, and once you've got three alike, you can trade it in for that mask. But don't feel like your first mask is your final choice. The gliding is about freedom and exploration. I suggest you claim as many masks as you wish. Are we going to end up like the mask seller in um, Majora's Mask? Yes, please. Only at your final ceremony will you be asked to choose one. Sammy Jai says, Mask Caster is much easier to say in my Northeast accent than a Southern one. Um, Sammy, I'm not going to insult you by attempting a Northeast accent. But I can imagine it. Swan Levitt says, Do you struggle with the R in certain Italian words, Johnny? I struggle with the parlare, etc. Yes, I do. Um... I used to study Spanish, and obviously you like roll your R's, but you don't roll your R's in Italian, you trill your R's, and it makes me feel like I've got a big wet sock inside my mouth instead of a, a tongue, because I'm so clumsy with it. But hey-ho. Anyway, tighten your own says you really couldn't mask for more. Ugh. How will I choose one? You'll have to feel it out, but when you know, you'll know. <laughs> Burrito says, Peter Piper downed paint water, then a pickleback. The turn of her now puts the butterflies back in my stomach. With all of this done, there is only one thing left. It's time then, isn't it? Time to walk through the face door at the Temple of Rohana. There, you'll assemble your gliding mask. Hello. And go. There are things I wish to convey to Jaddy here. Depths of love and gratitude and fear and worry and hope. And though I find myself unable to speak any of it in words, I know she understands. These little asides, at the very start of the game, I was a bit like, meh, about them. I didn't know if they were really essential, but they are very well written. And, um, they're nice. Little bits of exposition. Before you leave, child, I made you these. They are dyed with the traditional abexi maroon, and I hope provide you great comfort out in the desert. Hermit Prime says, what is this game about, and is it on Xbox? Uh, it's on Game Pass, so I assume so. Uh, it's about going on a gliding, which is like a journey of um, uh, rite of passage. When you leave today, you will no longer be Sable, clan child of the Abexa. You will simply be Sable, and the rest will come. But no matter what you are, no matter where your journey takes you, I will always know you. I will always love you. This is wholesome. And I will see you again. I don't know where my journey will end, but I know where it must begin. And I am ready. 
I should head to the temple to begin my gliding. But first... A Bexy children top. A Bexy glider top. No capes. A Bexy glider trousers. Yeah, let's go for the cape. Come on. Child's, ma child's mask. A blank looking mask worn by all children of the dunes. Most kids customise there for fun, but more traditional clans frown on that sort of self-expression. Well, 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 that's interesting. That's a nice touch. I enjoy it. It is fun. Right. Okay. So, I need to head to the temple, sure, to begin my gliding. But I'm slightly worried that when I look at the icon that tells me where my bike is, it still points me toward this thing that is currently... Fucking a mountainside? <laughs> Sorry. Um, was I supposed to get on my bike before? Stephen Paul has done a super chat saying, I said this before, brackets not super chat, but shout out to the realistic body shapes in this game. It makes me feel normal not looking like an Olympic athlete. I hadn't even clocked that, but yeah, I totally see what you mean. It is nice. Louis Furman says, Are there any massive spice worms in this? Not that I've seen. Skills Loading is on a super chat saying this walking holiday is refreshing yet exhausting. Podcasts recommended by the Skelly Goblins from the painting stream are a great accompaniment. Have a beer for having such horrible slash lovely fans. Thank you, Skills Loading, and thank you for checking in. I hope, I mean, you say your walking holiday is refreshing yet exhausting. I hope you're having a great time and that the exhaustion isn't too much. Um, I have to say, sometimes when you're out on a holiday and you do something absolutely exhausting over the course of the day, going to bed and feeling how bone tired you are and knowing that you earned that sense of tiredness is delicious. Like, obviously, you know, being tired a lot of the time, you're just like, oh, I'm tired, this feels horrible. But when you're tired for good reason, it feels amazing. I really love it. Okay, I think we do have to wait to get our bike, that's fine. Sainted Karma says, from Eastwood being horrible, I hesitate to call them people. To Sable's entire wholesome vibe, it's like night and day. I think I think with Eastwood, we hit an unfortunate juncture where the game was opening up and probably it was about to become a lot more wholesome, but we had to stop the stream and we were all a little bit tired and fed up. Um, I, I keep meaning to go back to it and explore it sort of off stream by myself and just see what I make of it. Because it's got rave reviews and it does seem lovely and like the the puzzly sort of gameplay was a delight. It was just sort of the rest of it was a bit like I don't know. I just it was a bit relentless. Although right, I was thinking about this afterwards. Like some I can't remember who it was, but somebody was like, "Oh, it's wild how chat can't handle that this you know that people are mean in this game." Like it's meant to give you a sense of of going off somewhere, and if you don't you know if you can't handle that, then like what games can you handle and it's like i really wish i'd called them out on that i can't remember who it was now but it was it was a bit like well just because they disagree with you about something doesn't mean that they can't handle it and it's such a common attitude among people shitlords specifically when they're like oh you can't hack this it's like no i just disagree with you and if it's something if it's something that bothers me that you don't mind it doesn't mean that you're the only rational person here and everyone else is like is unable to deal with reality? It was weird. It was very weird. Are we in the right place? Are you a temple? Uh, we've been here before, haven't we? Yes. Stephen Paul says, oh, the raccoon detective one. No, that was, uh, that was Backbone. That was different. Jacob M says my, uh, oh my god. My head does not like it when this game loses colour. It's weird, isn't it? Hello. You're massive. Oh, William Carroll says loved your work with Game On back in the day. Very nostalgic. Thank you, William. That's very kind of you. Right, there were some platforms over here doing some stuff, weren't there?
And there are some handy climbing vines there that let me know that I can climb things here. The core strength on this child is astounding. I'd be so screwed if I were actually in a video game. Be like, okay, now you're hanging onto this ledge, now pull yourself up. Be like, hmm? Plummet to my death? Sure. Pull yourself up. Who do you think I am? Oh, sure, I'll just pull up my body weight with my human arms that are strong enough to do that. No disrespect, obviously, to anyone who can do that. I just profoundly can't. Sir Anthony of Hawks says gamers only what, like one type of fish, cod. How dare you? Especially since your username is Sir Anthony of Hawk. What about Skate? Hmm? Chaos says, no offence, Johnny, but I see you more as the wise and helpful NPC type than the action hero protagonist type. Me too. Don't, that's no offence taken. Yeah, don't worry. Ah! Get down from there. Stop showing off. I was quite pleased with Skate there, I'm not going to lie. Tasty fish as well. Expensive, but tasty. If he says this has been lovely, I will have to check this game out. Uh, gotta go play D&D. Today players are going to fight a king who is also a vampire. There you go. Good luck, Ify. I hope it is tremendously fun. WhoMD21 says, Thus begins chat describing what type of game character they would be. Yes, give it to us, chat. What kind of game character are you? In what sort of game? Now, there's something glowing up there now. Do we want to get back up there? Or is that... Oh, that's just where we came in. God, I'd absolutely murder some, like, proper chippy... Like, proper chip shop chips now. Mushy peas. Chips. Mostly just those two things. All right. You're wearing your... Mask now. Can I? Wow, well, that is very Breath of the Wild up there, isn't it? May I, um. <laughs> Captain Wolfos says the dead NPC you find at the start of the game with maybe six coppers and some torn trousers. <laughs> wow, brutal. Right, let's go over there because we've not been over that side of the room. Corvus Albright says, I mean, if we're talking D&D, then rogue slash bard, elf, or half-elf. Nah, we're talking pure old, pure old video games. Sarah Lynch says, small animal type sidekick. I can see that. Hello, Sarah. How are you? I love you very much. Burrito says, I thought I, it was C bass, but at least a C plus, etc., etc. Oh, I did not get that joke at all in Animal Crossing. Someone had to explain it to me. Will types all in caps across four separate messages skeleton on the toilet. <laughs> Love it. Boing. All right. The massive battle mech goddess is ready. Shit!
That was horrible, wasn't it? All right, well, I guess let's go put that on our face, huh? I do- these, I like them not. Actually, if this was an installation in, a, in an art gallery, I'd probably quite like it. But it isn't, so I don't. Slap this on my face. A Bexy mask. The ceremony. Return to camp. Alright, bye! By terrifying everything that that was. Will says, I like them. Anthony, Anthony Gormley friends. Yeah, I, you know what? I do actually love those Anthony, Anthony Gormley statues, but when I was at uni was when they first went up and they were everywhere across the London skyline. You know, there was one on the uh, National Theatre, um... Which, if you were going past it on Waterloo Bridge, would be like, Ugh! and it, it was alarming for like a few months. You kept being like, "There's a person," but it was just a statue, obviously. And I went to, I went to uni at Kings on the Strand, so I was around there all the time. So I just spent like a whole year of my degree being like, "There was a person." No, it's nothing. Bubble. Uh, I got caught. I pulled a face before I read it out, and then I realized it was a joke. Sir Anthony of Hawks has broke my leg in two places yesterday. My doctor told me to stop going to those places. That's a good joke. I feel vaguely humiliated. But that's fine. Where's the bike? Screw the bike. We don't need the bike. We got a better bike to get. Sir Anthony of Hawks says, Yay, that was everything I dreamt it would be. You're welcome. Hello? Hello? Everybody? Logging in. Hello, Sable. Jaddy's voice echoes strangely through the machine, yet it still warms me. Well, Sable, this is it. By the time you hear this, we will have gone. The gliding is a journey that must begin alone. There is a certain nuance lost in transmission, and for that I am grateful. It would be far too much to hear the cracks in her voice and not run weepily into her arms to stay forever. But I am ready, and so I close my eyes and listen. But though you go by yourself, you are not without friends. You are not without family. You are not without love. These things you will always carry with you as you do your mask. And I know I'm not supposed to do this, but if I were you, I might go see Utari. They're the machinist at Burnt Oak Station. <laughs> at Burnt Oak Station. And amongst his most closest friends. <laughs> we're in fucking Edgeware. <laughs> Sorry, that's niche. Burnt Oak is a station, station on the northern line in London, near Edgeware. Um, I feel quite bad, so Lucy's saying chills. I, this is a really lovely part of the game. I just wasn't expecting Burnt Oak. I'm sorry. <sighs> okay, we're going to calm down and we're going to get back to the game. Ah. <sighs> Utara is a good contact to have on one's gliding and a fine way to get another machinist badge if you're so inclined. Only a suggestion, though. Will's typing all in caps. Go to Cockfosters. Go to Cockfosters. Cockfosters. 
As for us, I'll send another message once we've returned to the US, so keep an eye on the post boxes and try not to forget us. Dan Keller says this was made by two guys in a shed in London, I think. Really? She takes a long breath and I forget that things as easy as breathing could ever exist. Wow! The world is waiting, Sable. Good luck. Gosh, this is a lot, isn't it? Hup! Bum, 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 bum. Where's my good bike? Corvus Albright has done a super chat saying, Has anyone seen the Jersey Shore Gone Wild videos from years ago? There were transcripts from Jersey Shore episodes performed in the style of Oscar Wilde. No, Corvus Albright, I have not seen that. Interesting. Right, let's call out, shall we? Whoa! Please tell me my bike is gonna... <gasps> she is beautiful. Definitely two guys in a shed, hence shed works. There you go. Look at this thing. Listen to her purr. Oh, that's very smooth. Oh. I can't drift as easily. It's very easy to drift these things on mouse and keyboard, but... Um, oh my god, I love this thing. Can you imagine everyone being on the outskirts of town being like... Has has she gone yet? No, she's just doing donuts in her ship. On her her speeder. Well, how long's it been? Five hours? <laughs> Aiden Folk says, isn't it better having had the first one first? Yes. Yeah. Fair enough. Louis Fairman says, why is it farting red? I don't know, Louis. What what kind of colour do you fart? Or is it Lewis? Sorry. No, it's Louie. M. Lux says time to head bedwards. Have a bang a day all. Take care. Ooh, here we go. This is the bit that might get me a uh, copyright strike. So let's talk all over it, shall we? Don't DMCA me, please. Do, 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 do. I'm ruining the moment here. I could just cut desktop audio. In fact, maybe we will just for a minute. Uh, the gliding. La la la. Just collect my mind. All right, let's go speak to the. I'm sorry. I'm very, very sorry, everyone, to to cut the music. It's a it's a nice little song. It's obviously meant to be very, very impactful. But if uh, if I get a copyright strike, I believe it strips me of my ability to stream for six months, and that would be shit. It's just a scale thing now. But wow, this is cool. This is great, actually. I look like a Jawa. Oh, this is such a lovely open after, like, the sort of small scale, really slow speeds traveling. They know what they're doing. Will says, wait, really, so what about the Life is Strange stuff? So, the Life is Strange stuff, I uploaded, unlisted, um, and that stuff I just can't monetize. Uh, but because this is live, I'm a little more jittery about getting, like, a copyright strike. So a strike is something people choose to enforce, whereas um, there are auto-detection things where you can make a copyright claim to be like, this is mine, uh, but you can leave the video up and monetize it yourself. So basically, if you ever see an advert on the Life is Strange True Colors videos I put up, it's because one of the artists, or their label, realistically, has um, has decided, there we go, the music's just faded, has decided to monetize it and claim that revenue for themselves. Um, so that's just, like, that's just how that works. But because it's live, I just was a bit like, look. I love you, Simoon. You are the best bike ever. 
Burnt Oak Station. Here's the burnt oak part. Haha. <laughs> Hello. <gasps> Do I have a message? Logging in. Hello, Sable. Unread message is zero. Have a good day. All right, fine. Hello, are you a machinist? Nomadic merchant Bobby. I can pr I can already hear people typing in Scotland. Glider, welcome. View my wares. I would like to trade with you. Or merchants' badges. Merchants aren't liable to just giving out. Whatever. Head to Ecria. Okay. Interesting. But I would also like to trade with you. Burrito has done another super chat saying, Your song made me burst out laughing. You should just play that bit of dialogue from The Witcher 3, read Defensive regular, Regulatory Magic on. You should just play that bit of dialogue from The Witcher 3, read Defensive Regulatory Magic on. I'm having a, a mental blank. Which bit is that? Uh, right. View my wares. I would like to trade with you. Smashing! Have a gander at my goods. Oh, cool. Okay. Beetle bike booster. Smoke pours out the many exhausts at the back of this booster. Best to avoid use indoors on your other people. Beetle bike front. Frantic energy runs through the mandible like features of this bike, never stopping and constantly in motion as if it is looking for something. Or beetle bike wings. A part often utilised by beetle enthusiasts, the mandible light wings flare out with intense tension when riders strafe and curl up tight for tight aerodynamic gliding when driving at high speeds. I don't know if these actually have... I think I assume these are just cosmetic, but... Um, uh, uh, which one should we buy? Beetle bike booster, beetle bike front, or beetle bike wings? Beetle bike booster, beetle bike front, or beetle bike win wings. Oh, there's a side quest in The Witcher 3 that makes fun of DRM, making it magical. Understood. Got it, got it, got it. Beetle bike booster, beetle bike front, or lots of people saying wings. Oh, the bike parts do stain, do change stats. Um, beetle bike parts trade speed for handling. Interesting. Okay. Hmm. I could I could go for some handling and people seem <laughs> big bad beetle bugs. People seem to want that, so let's get the beetle bike wings. Close screen. Till next time, friend. See you soon. Where is Simoon? Do we have to equip this stuff? Or is it just automatically on bike parts? Beetle bike wings. Let's go have a look. Simoon! What are you? You're like an axolotl, but with no limbs. Chum egg. Oh! Whoa! Offered up by chums when planting themselves into the ground. Perfectly smooth and hard as a rock, these eggs seem to float with how light they are. There must be a good place to deliver these. Huh. All right. Ah, that's a chumworm bum egg, is it? Okay. Right, well, where's the machinist? Isn't that that film that Christian Bale got really thin for? <laughs> there we go. You look like a machinist. The machinist looks me over. You're late. For what? For our meeting one another. You ought to have come here sooner. I ask the machinist how they know me. I do not know you, not yet. Perplexed, I wait for them to explain themselves, but they seem to wait for the same. Briefly, I feel a hint of shame as I remember times I have been late among the Abexi, things I have slipped up in doing. But I dismiss my doubts as I recall that I have no idea who this strange machinist is. I ask them. My name is Utari. Of immediate relevance to you is that I am a friend of Sizo. 
I asked then if Caesar alerted them to my impending arrival. Perhaps she looks out for me and sets waypoints and oases along my gliding. A comforting thought. No, no, no. It was your hover bike. I heard it for the first time months ago and felt the shape of its voice, of her voice, sorry. I tell Utari that it was not Simoon they heard, for Caesar and I only built her a few days hence. They waved their hands at me in hurried dismissal. Did Caesar teach you so little? The voices of our machines are eternal, more ancient even than their forms. I hear them as I always have, and yours I thought would revisit me sooner, but here we are. Now let us speak of why you have come. Our needs converge atop the wind tower. Customised bike. Give it this. I see. Better handling, lower max speed. I just want to see what it's like. Thank you. Got an achievement for that. I say goodbye to Utari. Sarah Lynch says, you say Ciso in the style of Lucius Farinus. Ciso. <laughs> Thirteen. I say goodbye to Utari. Goodbye. Quest completed. The ceremony. Oh, I don't like the wings. Oh, I like them not. Oh, but they, oh, they pop out little stubby little... I hate them. I hate them. Gang, I hate them. They're coming off. I'm really sorry, everyone. I hate them. S Simone looks stupid. I know that task needs doing, but I made a horrible mistake. Bye, Utari. Yes, that's much better. Sorry, everyone. That's better. I hate it. Change it back, says Emma Benton. Yup. A child! Ah! I really have to stop trying to sprint with the crouch button. Let's talk some other chumps around here, shall we? Hello. You look like a serious person. The guard of... No, guard, yeah. Hello there, young glider. I'm nearly startled by the force of her greeting, but her voice is comforting somehow. Warm and welcoming. I greet her with the accidental enthusiasm of a traveller finding a friend. She smiles behind the mask, I think. Always nice to meet a fellow adventurer. How are you faring? The world is big and I feel very small. You say that like it's a bad thing, isn't it? I wonder the size of it all. Then you can sp that you can spend your whole life wondering and still find more to see. I think about the balled up fabric and smoothed out rock that will make my next pillow and many to come. My neck aches faintly at the thought of how many nights I'll spend this way. It's possible I'm romanticising it a little. I really, I really like the, um, really like the writing in this. You see, I'm getting ready to leave on my second gliding. She reads the confusion in my silence. Did no one tell me of the second gliding? I suppose it isn't a real second gliding, but it's how I'm thinking about it. I can't see the world again and how it's changed. Cheerful Spiders on a super chat saying, Have a drink with a fish and some sheep ligament on your ride, and it's a paddywhack, stickleback, beetle bike, pickleback. Have a drink with a fish and some sheep ligament on your ride, and it's a paddywhack, stickleback, beetle bike, pickleback. Good. Thank you, Cheerful Spider, for that little tongue twister and for the super chat. I am an Ecrine guard, you see, or I was an Ecrine guard. As of three days ago, I am officially retired. You should have seen the way the others looked at me. There is a laugh in her voice. All of them, eh, excuse me, blah, blah. all of them were so baffled to see me go, telling me how much I'd miss a big city. A few of them even felt sorry for me, like, what would I do now that my life's purpose is complete? Can you imagine? I try to, but I can barely muster a view of my purpose's start, let alone its end. I shake my head. I said, thank you for all the strange condolences, but tomorrow marks strange condolences. That's such a good way of putting it. Tomorrow marks the first time in decades I wake up in the morning and have absolutely no idea what lies ahead, and I've never been more excited. Don't get me wrong, I've loved my work, I've even loved the noise and the trouble of Ecria, but I've spent enough of my life standing around looking hard. It's time to explore. This is written by British people, isn't it? Her glee is infectious. I ask where she'd like to go. I'm heading to the Badlands, I think. I want to see the Bridge of the Betrayed. If you haven't already, you should definitely go and see it yourself. You'll want the northern badlands southwest of here. I nod, trying to keep the directions in mind, and Elisabeth gives me a little tap. And I also just realised we're still wearing the child's mask. We should fix that. Maybe I'll see you up there. Okay. Good, good, good. Inventory. Clothing. Mask. 
What? Can we not equip? Oh, there we go. There we go. That's better, isn't it? We've got fangs. We're like a muntjack deer. I should go and find Elizabeth at the Bridge of the Betrayed. Southwest in the Badlands. Okay. Is there anyone else we can talk to, though? Boing. Hello, Buckethead. Shepherd Leah. Well met, Glider. We had goats in my clan. Well met, Glider. What's in that glass vial? Oh, a colour palette for a hobber bike. Yes, please. Let's dye our bike. Well met, Glider. See you around. Inventra. Back parts. Oh, I suppose we have to talk to the um, machinist again. Die my bike, please. I know that tusk still needs to be customized bike. Oh, no, I guess not. We'll work that out later. Goodbye, Utari. Right. Ships of old? No. The gliding. A view from the bridge. Could go do that. I feel like there are more quests probably to pick up here, aren't there? These bikes are fun, aren't they? Look at this little chap. This is pod racing. Hello. This beetle is very cool. What's in here, then? It's a very well-realized world. It's all very lovely. I meet Aoife, the innkeeper of the camp. What can I do for you? Tasks! Level husks! I repeat the words back to her as a clarification. She nods. I need some level No, that's fine. Bye! Do we st are we still getting that icon? Oh, well, 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 that tower still needs doing. Tell me more. Oh, there we go. Something has stopped the tower working. Yeah. Go there, mend what is broken, and I'll give you what you seek. A direction. I'll be waiting for you. Travel swiftly. Okie dokie. Say goodbye to Utari. A stubborn snag. There we go. Apparently something has stopped the turbine, so I should be able to... Uh, fix the tower by removing it. Which tower? This tower? That tower? Is that the turbine we're talking about? Let's go over there anyway. Why not, eh? Good excuse to ride Simoon. What would your bike be called then, chat? You've got yourself a glider bike? It looks a little bit like a vape crossed with a lightsaber crossed with a personal massager. <clears throat> um, what's its name? Will says bastard. Thunder Cookie says The Confusion. To Anthony of Hawk says Glidey. Persephone from Aiden Folks. Drag Neil says Sainted Karma. Thunder Carrot from Louis Fairman. Another Glidey from Anonymous. Stephen Roger Benson says Jane. Octa Chan says Nausicaa. Emma Benton says Glidey McGlideface. You had all of these prepped, didn't you? You've, you've been waiting for this question for a while. Cyborg Penguin has done a super chat saying, Hey everyone, guess who just got their first paycheck and decided to spend a portion of it on one of their favourite internet people? Brackets, it's me. Thank you very much. That's really lovely. Um, congrats on the first paycheck. The first of many, I should hope. May they only grow in size. This turbine's a ways off, isn't it? What is that thing? Is it a drift of cloud? 
It's just a wasp of cloud. Yes. Chaos says, right, I'm off to light a fire in our fire pit and catch up with some old friends while sat around said fire. Have a good one all. That sounds amazing, Chaos. Have a good time and be safe. Um, yeah, no, have a genuinely wonderful time. That sounds great. A fire pit. Can you imagine? Sadly, I do not... I uh, used to live in a, a flat that had a garden and a little chimenea. And that was great fun, but now... Oh my god! It sounds like it's raining. But now there are a stack of beetles? Wait. Are you all okay? Let's just let's just brush past that. <laughs> Octo Chan says it's beetles all the way down. Nathaniel Kelly says it's a bug. Oh it's a lot of bugs. Oh well. These things happen. <laughs> Tighten your own. It says they clearly don't go all the way down. Yes, yes. Alrighty. It's funny, it wasn't until um, the machinist mentioned the uh, the mother beetle. It's like, oh yeah, there's been absolutely zero combat or mention of combat in this game. And I didn't miss it. That's great. Smash. Oh, I'm sorry, Simoon. Ooh, look at us go, though. Right. Sorry about it, Simoon. Let's... I really should be nicer to this bike, given it's got a name and a spirit and everything, but um, I am bad at driving it. So, there that goes. Some cacti. And then, I guess let's start our ascent. <gasps> Another one of the Wirrams. See, I, I love them like this. It's beautiful. It's like an axolotl. I want to make it my friend. And then it goes and does this. And it makes me sad. Hmm. Maybe this isn't the way up. What is that now? Looks like a turret. But hopefully isn't one. Because again, no combat, I'm defenseless. Oh. Plament. Looks like a pear. Right, let's go over here. That looks mildly easier to scale, maybe. Oh, Christ. Ugh. Without this bubble power, I would stay home <laughs> on my gliding. Well played, chat. A lot of people saying, what's a pear? Good on you. Don't let the bastards grind you down. Oops. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Just panicked then, didn't I? Come on. Up we go. Oh. <laughs> or we could use the already established walkway and stairs. I found a nice place to sit on the way to 
Well, should we have a sit? No. Okay. We can have a little squat. It's probably not as comforting, but... Bloody Jenga chips, you know? Why can't pubs just do normal chips? Whoa! Hello! Hi! It's like Princess Bubblegum's melted. Okay, see ya. Oh no! It's fine. <laughs> Salem K says, looks like a sentient Hershey's kiss. <laughs> oh, look at that smoke rising. This game is very pretty. Initially, I wasn't sure about sort of the thin lines that are sort of outlining everything, but it's really grown on me. Boing! The Wind Tower. Yep, sounds like wind chimes, all right. Hmm. A wind tower is just the type of place you'd expect to find a turbine. The plot thickens. Did that work? Yes, it did. Okay, and then kind of want to give it one of these and then glide onto the ladder. But also, that's tantalizing. We'll hopefully get in there very shortly. Oh, I stopped it. I was hoping I'd spin around. Sorry, little thing. This game is nice, isn't it? Was I supposed to go that way? Maybe not. Ooh, ooh! Hang on. There we go. Well, that was... serendipitous. Which is to say, I did not plan that at all. Hello, Turbine! You do look a bit poorly, don't you? Hey? Come on! Let's get you sorted. Forget about it, crow. Get out of here. Not sure if this is the way I'm meant to go, but it's certainly the way I'm going. Shit! Oh. Don't know why I'm giving the crows a hard time in this game, to be fair. I bloody love crows. Oh, shit! Oh, are you serious? Shit, 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 shit. Get on the ledge. No. Okay. I could have gone better. Yeah, you have a little rest, Sable. Okay, let's just go up here. Phew. Then we go round. Then we go up. Much better. Get up there! Okay, we're fine. Well, well, well. If it isn't some netting. Uh, 
Oh, ho, ho. Hmm, a huge rock. What's the least responsible thing I could do with this, I wonder? Oh. Yeah. There it go. Oh. Never mind. It's fine. Let's just take... Oh, look! Look, 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 look. It's all colourful where we are, and then all the colours washed out. It's kind of lovely. Right, where was that little... Where was that treasure chest? Well, there's that treasure chest. Oh! Can we just open it from here? <gasps> Wait, look, a window on the other side. Thought you could elude me, did you, treasure? <laughs> a bouldering top. Though they won't help me climb further, the hand wraps and lightweight fit of this gear are great for making scaling mountainous heights more comfortable. Let's have a look. Does look comfy. All right, we'll stick with that for a bit. No capes. Ooh, don't know what I did to her then. Yggdrasil Odin48 says, just joined the stream and already I'm loving this art style. It's good, isn't it? It's nice. A pleasant game, all things told. What's down here? Eh? Right, we need to go... F here comes my famous sense of direction in video games. Only to find where that um, that little treasure chest was. Phil McThree says, Hi Johnny, can I get a birthday shout out? Absolutely you can, Phil. Happy birthday. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Thank you very much for the super chat. It's very generous when it's your birthday and therefore you should be receiving things from others rather than giving things to other people. But um, yeah, as congratulations on completing another trip around the sun. Um, yeah, I hope you have a lovely rest of the day. All right. Machinist top. Standard uniform worn by machinists in Midden. Machinists will always make sure the yada yada yada. Okie dokie. Well, let's see which we prefer. Machinist top. This looks like this. It's pretty cool, actually. It's kind of... It's quite alien slash aliens. Uh, what are we saying, chat? Bouldering or machinist top? Bouldering. Machinist. Bouldering. Machinist. Let me know. Sailing K says I like the bouldering one. Thunder Cookie says both cool. Bouldering says Mankoy. Jakob Poniatowski says I'd say machinist. Bouldering, bouldering, bouldering. Doom Biscuit would prefer the gliding outfit. Bouldering. Emma Benton says, for silly reasons, the machine is because I don't want us to get sunburned, but both are lovely. Bouldering. All right. Yeah, lots. I think bouldering won that there, so. Right. Where are we off to? Nah. We should head back to Atari at camp. I'm going to believe that everyone has tremendous natural protection from the sun's rays in this game. Bouldering fits the trousers better. What this? <gasps> Cuts! EJ says, good evening peeps, hope you're all having a lovely day. They're doing alright! Doing alright, thank you very much. Just off on our gliding. Which is sort of a rite of passage journey. I get Ah, oh, look, look, there we go, look. There's a camp and stuff. Here's where we are, the wind tower and Ibex camp. 
That's fun. Um, let's go see Simoon. Oh yeah, you can get a map for this area from the local cartographer. Of course you can. They've probably got a balloon somewhere. I'll pick it up when I see them. I'm in no rush. It's quite nice just to explore, really. Kind of, I don't know, maybe it's just me, but... Going on a gliding and being like, Explore, make your way in the world, see the unknown. Here's a, here's a really comprehensive map. It's like, oh. Kind of takes a little bit of the... Excitement out of it for me. Well, that's just me. But then again, I've never actually done any sort of proper, like, capital T traveling. I've been to places, obviously, mostly for work, really. But I never took a gap year or anything like that. Gap year. Not sure I really have that much wanderlust. If someone was like, do you want to go spend three months, like, trekking across this part of the world? I'd be like, oh, hmm. I'll do 10 days. <laughs> Shit. That looks like a balloon over there. Hey. Cartographer. I'm coming to acquire a map, and you better accept my money because my grandma's all tapped out. Oh. Gillen Borum says, was that land speeder powered by tomato paste? Yeah. In the future, that's how all, all craft are made and powered. Come on. Up we get. There we go. Map maker, map maker. Sell me a map. Cartographer's balloon, eh? Oh, no. We're not going to make it, are we? Come on! Come on! Come! It's surprisingly generous, this stamina thing! Shit! Yeah! <laughs> well done, Sable! Bloody hell! I really put you at harm in harm's way there. God, your mask is so weird. I'm absolutely not becoming a cartographer, that's for damn sure. I greet the cartographer shyly. Hello there, Glider! What do we need? A map! Cartographer's badge? Yeah, alright, fine. I'll buy it. <laughs> Sailing K says, I wasn't too far off the mark when I said, oh no, Tingle. Yeah, if this guy says Kalu Limpa, we're gonna yeet him off the rock. It's that simple. There's a tiny bit of me that's like, what happens if we do just fall? But then, I actually really like 
this character so much that I don't really want to chance it and find out. I really like this art style. This is very, very nice. Oops, that's not what we want to do. Uh, this way. Compass is good as well. Radial things, I like them. Smart design. There you go, let's cover the land in tomato paste. Zizthris says, hello, I was at work. Hello, Zizthris, I hope work was all right. Right, let's find somewhere actually nice to park the, the ship, not the ship, the bike. I feel bad. There we go, look, there's an actual parking space. Don't just ride it into a wall. Come on. Oh god. Oh god. I don't know if I'm insured. Steady. Oh, that's close. Eh. Alright, you stay there, Numi. Numi? Simoon, not Numi. Although Numi would be a good name. Numi. Numi. Yo! How may I help? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Their delight is obvious, and I even see it in my approach. They radiate with energy. You did it! Thank you and well done, both of you. Did you have much trouble? None at all. Of course not, why would you? You were meant to do it. Now for your, I won't say reward, now for what you're owed. Yes! Utari produces a machinist badge, holding it out for me to take. You may have been late in coming, but here you are where you are meant to be. I give you this badge not only in recognition of where you have been and what you have done, but in honour of one of many possibilities. <laughs> Janky Dayton says, nice parking spot, you dune good. But this thrust says, work was hard, brackets heavy lifting, but the company was good. Thanks, Johnny. I'm glad. I'm glad that work was good. I'm not, I'm not glad that he has to do loads of heavy lifting, obviously. Right. You may, if you so choose, become one of us and speak the unheard language of Simoon and have vast connections. This badge is but one, and you will need to earn more from others who carry them. But if and when you do, the caster will know what you have chosen. You may wear the Mask of the Machinist. I, to be honest, they, they appeal to me quite strongly. They sound pretty cool. I thank Utari for it and tell them I have much to consider, but for just a moment I hear the faintest ringing in my left ear, distant and deep, like a river below the sands. Listen. Interesting. Right. What's this? Guess it. Narrow stalk fig. Undoubtedly my favourite fruit. First thing I would ask for when we pass travelling merchants with the Abexi. Well, well. Although if you're passing a travelling merchant, you should never ask them specifically for the thing you're most interested in. If you're looking to barter. You ask them about a couple of items you don't really care about first. So how much is this? How much is this? You're like, alright. How much is that then? Then you start the process. I'm quite good at bartering in markets. It's fun. Um, the best bit is when you walk away and they go, no, 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 no. And you're like, ha, ha, ha. I walked away. Uh, let's see. We could go find Elisabeth at the Bridge of the Betrayed. Gather some larval husks. Let's go to the bridge. Hey, Simoon. Southwest of Burnt Oak Station. Well, that's north. Well, yeah, that's north. So we need to go south or west. Shit, shit, shit. Sorry, bike. What are we after again? The bridge. Bridge of the betrayed. A bridge. <laughs> Apparently the bridge is really far away. Well, we got time. Mm. 
What is that? Is that a fizzy hill? I see a cartographer's balloon. Whatever it is, I want to go see it. How much time exactly says just man bun is fine. Should be playing for another hour and a quarter, I think. Unless I grow particularly exhausted or my voice gives out, at which point we might end a bit early, but that's sort of where we're about what we're looking for. They're so lovely. Look at them. Oh, it's, look, look, look at the way the light's hitting it. Looks like it's opening a massive mouth. And then look at look at this. Thunder Cookie has done a super sticker. It is of a Shiba Inu. The Shiba Inu is holding its little paws in the air and waggling its little butt back and forth. Its butt is producing little tiny heart emojis and it's giving it one of these but it seems to be grinning so at least the Shiba Inu is having a nice time thank you very much Thunder Cookie for the super sticker um, and for making a dog fart hearts fart hearts fart hearts fart hearts Hmm. 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 Ah, shit. Bollocks. Feel like we can get some purchase. There we go. All right. Let's 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 go about this. Fart hearts. Reminds me, there was one time, it was a long time ago, obviously, because it was, it was, we were talking about, oh, oh yeah, I can call my bike to me. I forgot about that. Um, uh, da, 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 da. we were talking about uh, Fallout 4 DLC and we were talking about Far Harbor and somehow we all just lost it in this this um, ah! in this uh, meeting and we spent a good two minutes just being like Far Harbor Far Harbor um, it was you had to be there but anyway Uh -huh. I enjoyed it anyway. Right. I was wondering if we could kind of get... Let's just chuck. I mean, we do have... No, we've got good stamina, but not that good. Alright. It's alright. Oh. Ah, ha, ha, ha. My f it's my favourite thing in Breath of the Wild when you accidentally just get to stay on a wall. Come on. Just stand up. Just stand up. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> the Nice Witch says, Furt Herbie. Furt Herbie. Hello, the Nice Witch. How are you doing? I hope you are well. Come on. Yeah. Take that. All right, Fizzy Hill. What you got for us? But what the fuck? Bollocks. Oh, you can just climb it. Wait. Chum layer? Oh, no. Is this where the chum eggs go? Oh, the nice witch, you picked an interesting time to join if this is going where I think it's going. Fuck off, fucking fuck. Sorry. <sighs> nice witch says, oh, oh, cool, it's by visibility day. GG on us being perceived for a bit. Yeah, congratulations to uh, uh, 
every uh, bisexual person watching this. Um, I'm glad that you are visible for the day. Uh, but for real, like, obviously you're valid. And it oh, you fucking, fucking worm bastard tower shitlord. Sorry. I was trying to say something nice, and my anger at this particular part of the game got in the way. Um, like, by Erasure's shit, and you're really valid, so... Sucks to be those people. Oh my god, this is the- this is its face. Okay. Hello! Sorry, I was just trying to climb your back. Yeah, I did say you're valid, you fucking worm tower shitlord. I'm very sorry, everyone. Upon seeing the frankly humongous chum holding up the remains of an ancient stone tower, I nearly jump out of my skin. Before I collect myself, I hear a voice cooing in my head. Ah, oh, hello, wanderer! Please don't be frightened. The giant chum cocks its head at me and chirps. This is big, um, Mr. Burns in the alien abduction episode of The Simpsons vibes, isn't it? I come in peace. Are you talking to me? I realise as I ask this question, it's for my own benefit. I am talking to you as much as I'm able to talk, and you're able to perceive my thoughts, but I assure you I'm as real as you are. I hear you are carrying some of my children. It's Boris Johnson. <laughs> I can feel the eggs squirming in my satchel at their mention. I relax, suddenly confronted by the absurdity of the situation. Your name is old and vast, like the desert. I mouth the syllables as it chirps silently. Sable! How beautiful. I don't have a name as such. But I am the queen of the chums. You may call me Queen Chum, or Chum Queen, as you prefer. I bow my head politely. It is an honour to meet you, the Queen. The queen seems surprised by my formality. You just introduced yourself as a Queen. Oh my, you're such a proper little human. There you go. We are human. There it is. Well, you being here feels very lucky indeed. Perhaps you could help us. Our eggs are scattered throughout the deserts, but they need to be planted somewhere safe. Bring them here, little one. I'll be able to give you something for your favour. My answer comes without hesitation. A big yes. You're a kind little slug, aren't you? Is this an RKG stream? I think I'm going to like you, Sable. To start things off, bring me five eggs. Goodbye. Do you not want the ones I already have? Also, may I climb your face? No! I just want to get to the top of the tower because I know there's a delicious treasure chest up there. I don't want to scale it again from the outside. But it seems like that's what's happening. May I leave? Oh god. Bring me five eggs, you may not leave. There'll be a way out. There'll be a way out. I greet the Queen Chum. Do I have eggs for her? Goodbye! Let me climb your face! Oh. Okay, all right. We're not panicking. We're just trapped in a room with a giant slug queen. Aha. Five eggs goes west. Well done, cheerful spider. I enjoyed that. Okay. Do we need to... We need to climb the chum queen, don't we? Chum queen. All aboard the chum queen. Fucking... This feels indistinct enough to really get me annoyed. Oh my god. Just let me climb the giant's 
giant weird queen. No, but don't. Oh no. Ah! Oof. Oh, this is making me quite viscerally, viscerally angry. I mean, now let me up! Let me up! Fuck. Yes, thank you. Oh my god. Chum layer. If it's more eggs, I will. Cuts, great. Cash of 100 cuts. Oh! Good. All right. We are beholden now to the chum queen. I hope we're happy. Oh god, it's fart. We were lured here by a cloud of fart. From the chum queen. Of course we were. Hello, what's this though? Is this how we came in? Might be, can't remember. Octo Chan says, she's effervescent. That's a nicer way of putting it. Oh, hey! Hey, buddy! Hey, what's up? Excuse me. Right. So, we were going southwest. Okay, but yeah, no, I don't need to track that. View from the bridge, that's what we want to track. We need to go southwest. Let's resume our course. But it was southwest. Southwest? Southwest! Southwest of Burnt Oak Station. Still can't believe it's called Burnt Oak Station. Um. Well, we'll just carry on going southwest and hope we see a bridge. I mean, there's a cartographer's balloon. That's a good thing to aim for, isn't it? Especially since we're just going south. Let's go to the cartographer's balloon. Janky... Dayden says, does the pod have a name yet, and can we name it Roach? It's called Simoon. Like, the game called it Simoon. Or rather, one of the characters in the game called it Simoon. That's, it, that's its name. And if we called it Roach, I would just ignore it like I did actual Roach. So, it's for the best. Shit! Good suspension on this thing. I'm now gloriously lost, which is good. I mean... Map. So what's that? That's Ibex Camp. The Wind Tower. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chum Layer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Burnt Oak Station. Oh, we are still travelling southwest. That's fine, then. But I would still like, ideally, to go to that cartographer's building. Ah, uh, well, 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 if it isn't some kind of bridge, probably. It certainly looks bridgey, doesn't it? Oh, God, I'm so sorry, Samoon. I know that you're supposed to be like a kindred spirit. I'm just going to leave you there. Ben F42 says, kind of gives up don't gives off Donut County vibes as well. I can see that. God, I love Donut County. What a game. The way the fire was kind of smoking earlier did actually make me think of that one level where it's like fireworks, I think. It's a good game. Fuck! This feels safe and respectful.
Bennis says, I made the mistake of finishing it one day. I have played Donut County through so many times. Is this gonna be enough? Did we get enough altitude? I think that we did. Maybe we didn't. Deedly, 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 deedly. It's fine. Oh, you meant finishing it in one day. Yeah. It's an easy game to just rip through, isn't it? Clonk, clonk, clonk. Clonk. Uh-oh. Now it's turning into impossibly tall temple step kind of scenario, isn't it? Octo-chan says, Donut County is so good. It really is. It's not four hours long. We could do a shorter stream where we just play through Donut County from start to finish. I certainly wouldn't hate that. One of my favourite things about it is that no matter what conversation you're having when you're texting your little raccoon pal, you can send a duck emoji and he'll almost certainly reply with one himself. And the game quacks. It's nice. Is this some kind of, like, dragon skull? Are these all dead dragons? But were they betrayed? Because if they weren't, then we're at the wrong bridge. You know? Quack. There's an achievement for quacking a hundred times or something. Interesting! This is news to me. I'll have to give that a go. Oh, I completely forgot we can sprint. Bonk! Let's keep going. Shit! Oh, this is not going to end well. Quickly now, let's get up somewhere where we can stand. Um. Nope, this is bad. Ah, it could have been worse. It's worse. It's not worse. It's fine. <laughs> Ugh. I'm sorry, Sable. I'm not the most gifted climber, am I? What's that? Ah, get up there. Get up there. Shit. Sounded like Tina Belcher there. Oh, yeah, I can crouch. <laughs> Take that, bones. Come on, fire! Maybe I shouldn't be going this way. Oh. Oh. Well, that's new. I wish I'd known that a few minutes ago. Oh, yes! Stay there. Let your whatever's recharge. Yes! Fuck. Okay, alright. <laughs> I'm so naturally gifted. 
Okay, now we're gonna go up. This rock face. Oh, thank you, Bubble. Is that what we wanted in any way, shape, or form? Probably not. Let's try and get up here. Okay. All right. It's all right, Sable. We got this. Okay. And we're back. <laughs> that was close. Okay. I'm actually going to go this way and just have a look. And size it up a little bit. Yeah, they're big. Just not sure. Oh, I wonder. Surely not. I mean, these were climbable before. This is a big gamble. It did not pay off. Damn. Where's my car? <laughs> well, we try again. Because this feels like the right bridge. That in particular looks like a bridge. That uh, uh, our machinist pal might be at. In fact, where is our bloody bike? Come here! Where is she? Falling off the thing I can hack, but I would rather like my bike back. Okay. Simply Dave MN says it's pretty distant. You might say it's a bridge too far. <sighs> All right. Okay. All right, fair enough. Yeah, I understand now why uh, Simone wasn't joining me. Hello, buddy. Aw, he's happy to see us. I would like to go and look at the other thing that looked like a bridge. Because I already know I don't want to make a cartographer's mask and become a cartographer. So that's fine. But I would like to make it to the bridge. Take it to the bridge. Get up her. Um, would like to, to get over there and see our machinist friend. Sam Ed Pandakar says, how is this game feeling overall, Johnny? It's feeling pretty good, actually. I like it. It's nice and chill. Um, that was a slightly frustrating section there, but I feel like a lot of that was more to do with me than anything else. Is this still where the machinist balloon is? Okay, so we do want to get up there. It's it's fun. I like it. It's good. Um, like it's beautiful. It's very well written. There's a station called Burnt Oak, which made me giggle. I like it. 
Cheerful Spider says the low frame rate ca character animation is on purpose, not a stream artifact, right? I like it a lot. Yes, uh, very much so. Um, <coughs> yeah, it's not a stream artifact. Okay. Ah! All right, let's get off the bike for a minute and have a look around. Let's have a little shifty up here. Jan Pale says, I'm going to call it a night. See you all and have a lovely rest of your time of day. See you. Cheers and see you in the next one. Take care. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day. I mean, you're going to bed, so it's, you know, you're pretty much done with it, but you know what I mean. Okay. So where we want to go is over there. Hmm. This is a little bit daunting, sort of this. It's like, okay, there's plenty of places I could start to try climbing. Or try to start climbing. But which one? Right, we want up there. That's easy. That's... We know that. For a certainty. Hello. Through here, maybe? Ah! Yes, they're getting smaller. The chunks are getting smaller. Am I losing it? It's entirely possible. It's been a long day. But can I bubble between... Ah! Between these. Can I even get up one of these? Ah, oh, fuck, camera angle. What are you? Hello? Hello? Don't know what that is. Wah. Kind of getting that big, big sort of open world, mild frustration of like, I know where I want to go, but how do I even get there? Right now I feel teeny tiny. Like all these things are so much higher up than I thought they'd be. Uh, Opto-chan says, talk to plant? I don't think I can talk to plant. I'm trying. I'm hitting the talk to plant button. So Tikama says, looks like it's a follow the bone path situation. Yeah. Yeah. Probably is, isn't it? But that was hard. What it... <sighs> Let me talk to you, plant. I mean, now I don't even know where the fucking bone path is. Blah. You know when you just sort of need to shake an open world off for a second? And get in that sort of feel. What is that over there? I mean, there's lots of things to you want to go explore. I want to go see what that is. Then we'll come back to this. I promise you, everyone, I was trying to talk to the plants. Um, I just couldn't find a way to activate them then. What is this? You are inviting. Because you are smaller. And thus I think I might be able to scale you. Maybe. Benef42 says, alright, time to get on with my maths homework now. Uh, good luck with the homework. Thank you very much for tuning in. I hope you had a good time. And I'll see you on the next one with any luck. But uh, yeah, good luck with the numbers. Bollocks. There's almost certainly an easy way into this, but I'm going to try this one more time. No. There we go. Hopefully that will give us a... Wow, my stamina's going down very rapidly. Come on. 
You absolute fucking beauty. All right. What this? Giant juicer? We about to die? Hmm. Oh. Benny says, oh no, I ain't going anywhere. Okay, fair enough. Good, good, good. Well, I'm glad you're still with us. Good luck with the numbers anyway. What is that thing? There are so many cool things. I mean, right now I don't even know where the bone path is. Okay, right, there, that's where we want to go. I remember now. Criminy. Okay. And then there's, there's more skeletal bridge there. Hey, bike! Yes, here we go. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. There's some there's some spine. Let's try and pick up the start of this again and see how how far we get. Okay, so, right. We know that this... Okay, let's try it. Let's just try it. It's fine. And off the bike. Okie dokie. Yoms says, Ooh, I just started watching and this is a very pretty view. Hello, Yoms. Uh, nice to see you. Um... It's night time right now, so everything's all sort of monochromy. Just you wait until daytime. It's gorgeous. Sudden gust of wind. Absolutely terrifying. Boop. Okay. We go again. Oh Christ, we're gonna make it. Oh no. Come on. Come on. Oh <laughs> flipping heck. The frame rate is uh Sotha still says, is the frame rate artistic or is Johnny's PC wheezing? No, it's, it is a stylistic decision to have the character sort of move like that. All right. Keep it going, us. Yom says, and now I melt in a puddle of, puddle of embarrassed goo? You don't need to be embarrassed. You're nothing to be embarrassed for. It, it, is, it, it is a pretty view. Everything you said was factually accurate. Right, up we go. Okay, good. How did we bugger this up so badly before? My ineptitude. That's the answer. Yom says, also, you are entirely at fault for my plan to run a Blades game soon. I'll take that. Good. Okay. This shouldn't be that hard. Okay, we just get up on the thing. Make some alarming clonking noises. Climb up here. 
we go. Yes, see? Mmm. Mmm, it's working. Here we go. Let's get colourful. Okay, right. I think... Aha! Aha! There's more skeleton over there. We go this way. We climb up here using our hands and feet. Now it's getting colourful. All right. Up we go. Climb the thing. This is where we failed before, I think. Shit! Come on! Was I not supposed to go that way, or...? Because now I'm just sort of... titting about over here. Ah! It's frustrating. I'm very frustrated. No! Come on! Shitbird! We go again! And next time we're gonna have a re- Ugh, that looks like a face hugger. Next time we're gonna have a really bloody good look. Sainted Karma says, I think on that particular bone part, the path does a 180. Interesting. Right. I'm going to conquer this. If it's the last thing I do, that or it's going to reach 8 o'clock and I'm just going to stop. We're wearing our climbing top and everything. So embarrassing. All the other people at the wall are going to be making fun of us. Blech. Actually, to be honest with you, every time I've been to a climbing wall, everyone's been really nice. Even though I've been, like, patently bad at it! Don't worry, I won't actually keep doing this one thing until 8 o'clock. Especially since I'm bad. I'm bad and I'm wrong and I'm shit. Look at this. Crap. Okay, we're fine. Um, I'll give this one more try and then if, if it doesn't work, I'm just going to ping off somewhere into the desert. Long. Don't scold me for saying I was bad and shit, chat. Don't scold me. I know I meant to believe in myself, etc., etc. Okay, right. Okay. Every the the more we see this skull, the more I think it looks like a moo cow. Clong. 
คลองโอเคดอกี้โอเคดอกี้ we're gonna be chill we're just gonna watch where we're going คลองคลองค right so this is where we bollocked before is it no it was the next little bit isn't it so we can we can go this way They said, suddenly unsure of themselves. Huh? Huh? Okay. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then this is where. Yep. Yep. I don't think we want to go that way. I think, if anything, we want to go this way and that way, which some people quite rightly suggested. Um. I think. I think. This. Aha! Wait. Isn't this? Yeah. <laughs> Aha! They said, <laughs> erroneously. Danny Shields has done a super chat saying the two plus hour commute to the primary school I work in prevented me from getting here before now. So his little contribution for the wonderful chill times I missed out on. We'll catch up later. Thank you very much, Danny. That sounds like a brutal commute. But um, I hope you have a very chill rest of your day. You know what? We're going rogue. We're just going to have a little clamber around. And it seems to be working, so... Ho, ho, ho. Shit, 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 shit. <laughs> okay, we can do this. We can do this. We can do this. Okay, so what we need to do... We've done this before. You can get a little extra... No. Get a little extra oomph by jumping first. <laughs> Or that gives us even less oomph? No, we'll make it. Fuck! <laughs> okay. We can do this. We can do this. It's fine. Oh god, we're going to make us sick, aren't we? <laughs> okay. All right. No, that's that's not gonna that's not gonna cut the mustard, or is it? No, the mustard remains uncut. But for some reason, I am now determined to make this work. Or we could go that way, and that seems like a really easy climb. Let's do that. Oh no, wait, that's not an easy climb at all. But that might be. Hubris, the video game. Oh shit off! I'm not smart. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this! <laughs> Up we pop! <laughs> Over we go! And I'll oh, fuck off! <laughs> All right, but in practice, we know what we're doing. In theory, my God. Okay, all right, here we go. We're gonna do it right now. Boing, and then bubble, and then climb. Oh my god! I am going to throw this cartographer off. The top of this hill for daring to set up shop in such a ludicrous location. Oh, what's up, dickhead? Sell me a map. Queen Chum. What? It's the queen. That's a bug, surely.
What should I see nearby? Seven Sisters Station! It's not! It is! It's Tube Stations! It's Tube Stations! Seven Sisters is on the um, Victoria Line. That's um, it's North East London. Glowworm Cave. Crystal Plateau. Okay. Bye! Well, that's great. Bloody love that. I thought... I feel bad for laughing at the burnt oak thing now. Right. Let's go conquer all of this shit. I feel so alive. I maybe jumped a little too early there. Cheerful Spider's done a super chat saying, A weird request. Uh, this is reminding me of a poem I wrote a couple of years ago. May I share it? Bit too long to super chat, but I'd love to hear you read it. Uh... I don't know if I'm comfortable reading out someone else's poetry. Please do pop it in the chat so people can can have a have a look. But I, if it's all right, I'd rather not read it out myself. Fuck, because um, I'll, I'll I'll interrupt it with things like that. Uh, and also, I just you know, like I find um, poetry uh, a very personal thing. And uh, yeah, again, I don't want to. I wandered lonely as a fuck. You know, it's. Uh, <laughs> okay, alright, 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 alright. Boing. Yom says, I'm endlessly entertained by Johnny cursing. This is a new experience for me. Yes, welcome to my truest form. <laughs> I curse like a sailor. Okay. Okay. Okay, like, I was frustrated before, but it was me. I didn't read the... The, um... I didn't read the path very well there. But now I'm back on it. This is actually lovely. I'm a big fan of this game. Okay. What up there? Interesting, okay. All right. So that's where we came up. So, this seems like a natural progression for us. Sable, a child on their gliding. Speaking of gliding, I wonder if we can just straight over there. Um, oh god. Because I know how long it took us to get up here. Oh, sod it. I think that's going to pay off. Yes! Womp. Mate, and in this society, their bubble ability just disappears after a while. That's got to be gutting. Also, how many people do you think have accidentally bought the farm after just being like, boing! Oh, it's fine. I'll just bubble on the way down. Oh, yeah. I can't bubble anymore. Terrifying. Love it. Love it. Hup. Hup. Okie dokie. How long have we got left? 25 minutes. We'll make it to the top in 25 minutes, I hope. Knock on wood, etc, etc. Clonk! <laughs> <laughs> Titan Uranus says, or if the bubble gives out in midair. I mean, that's the thing. You, these people have to. These people have to at some point realize their bubble doesn't work anymore. What if they accidentally make that realization while plummeting from the top of a mesa like this? Yeah. 
Oh. All right, I think it's another jump onto the wall trick. Octo-chan says, I wonder if your bubble just loses altitude faster as you get older. That's a nice... That's a nicer way of um, looking at how that might manifest. Well, that didn't work. Sorry, Sa sorry, Sable. I feel like I'm really giving you the runaround right now. But also... Uh, num, 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 num. Yeah, where else, can, where else can we go but here? All right. That seems to work. But our stamina is draining awfully fast. Now we're not going to get up there. Hmm. Have I have I screwed this up? Let's see. We're right. All right. We were on the bone bridge, and then yeah, we want to go up here. But then, is there something around the corner? No. Sorry. I feel like I've really got. Overly invest. Surely it's not climb the bones. It might be climb the bones, you know. I don't think it's climb the bones, you know. Whoa. Our stamina is not actually falling. You can just hang on. Oh, Christ. Shit. Come on! Yes! <laughs> oh. No, wait. Isn't this just where we were? <laughs> yeah, we could have climbed onto that. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, what's around that way? No, that's miles off, isn't it? Do we need to go... Okay, now do we need to... Surely not. Oh, Christ. Oh, fuck. No, 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 no. Fuck. Okay, right. It's not... It's not normally this... The last time it was this clunky, I was misreading it. You know? So that makes me wonder... Bob Bob says, maybe climb bubble, get stamina, then climb. So your stamina doesn't regen while you're in the bubble? Is it the... It's part of the problem. I wonder, can we come to... Oh, if I mess this up, I'm not going to forgive her myself. Ha 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 ha! Wait. No! Dickhead. <laughs> That's not what you wanted to do. All right, but we know that worked, at least. I don't know if it's actually going to help. I'm overthinking this. Shit the bed. Just want to get up the rock. Right, where's the next literally anything? Oh, I wonder if we could just... Surely not. Because that's over there, and that's tempting. Go up is the goal, yes. Up, upward is goal. You know what? We're just going to hoon it way over there. And, uh, because I can't just keep trying to climb that one rock forever. Uh-oh. <laughs> See what happens here. And then we can always run off and do something else. Felt like there was a solution there, but damned if I found it.
Let's just go over here. Explore this rock. Why not? Ah! Ah! Okay. Oh, I just got an achievement. Don't know what it was, but I heard the, the little noise. Okay. Oh, no. This was a mistake. Come on. Come on. You can do this. Yes, Sable. Nope. Up we go. Shit. Oh, maybe. Maybe not. Bollocks. Oh, it gets a bit finicky, doesn't it? Oh, for fuck. Okay, well, that's our route, anyway. Welcome to... Sable's Bouldering Academy. Sable, the game about riding a bike. Neko the kitty says, it's not possible to make the rocks jealous by climbing other rocks, you know. You don't know me. I'm going to make those rocks so jealous. Oh, fuck it. I'm, call I'm calling that. I'm I've had enough of going up the big rocks. I'm also quite curious to see what happens if we don't bubble. What happens to the people when their bubble just runs out? This may not be pleasant. Good lord. Oh, thanks, Bubble. Well. For a second there, I thought we were walking like that because we'd wrecked our legs. But I just crouched by mistake. I know I should go find Elisabeth, but... Um, frankly, I've separated myself from my bike... And I've, I've buggered this right up, so. Woo! Sammy Joyce has actually held my breath there. That was terrifying. It was a bit, wasn't it? I didn't feel great about it, but thanks, Bubble. Bike! It would be nice if the bike sort of... I think I think it does truly stay where you left it. Which means it can't get up. There's a hill it can't get up. It would be nice if it sort of shortcutted, like... You know, like when Roach just appears from a bush and it's like, Hello! I was here the whole time! That would be a, a nice improvement. Or a nice, qual nice quality of life improvement, rather. Sainted Karma says, I was ready for a wily Coyote splat. I know, right? <laughs> Bob Bob says, well, I'm off. Later, y'all. Take care, Bob Bob. Realise this might not be the most high octane portion of the stream. Oh, yeah, I can sprint, can't I? Sailing K says, what platform is this on? Uh, it, well, it's on Game Pass, so I assume it's on uh, available on Xbox. Uh, but it's also available on Steam. I'm playing it on a PC, obviously. Why do you... Why... May I talk to you, Bush? What is your whole deal? Is it to do with a quest? I wonder. Gather, gather larval husks? No. I don't know what that's about. There you are. Hello. You finally got round that thing. 
Let's ride! Let's get away from this nonsense. Ah, it's gone all colourful again. Hello. Lovely day-night cycle. Day-night cycle. Alternate name for uh, Simoon. Come on! Yes! You little beauty. Let's ride off into the sunset like we're in a oh, cowboy film, but instead it's a coming-of-age story about a young girl. Hmm, this is nice. Let's ride on for a little bit. Start to slowly, slowly wind down the stream. After a uh, frankly quite frustrating puzzle section, well not puzzle section, platforming section that I did not do well in, let's just uh, coast around a bit on a lovely bike. Sotha still has done a super chat saying, honestly think you would, uh, you would like, presumably? The quiet traversal elements of Death Stranding, despite the story being more bollocks than you predicted during pre-release. Don't lose your bike. I haven't lost my bike. I'm on my bike. Tell me not to lose my bike. I'm vaguely intrigued by uh, Death Stranding. I'll give it a go. I do have it in my Epic Games library. Because that's I've got a prayers account. Animals! Floating animals. Don't think that's meant to be... We'll just pretend we didn't see that. That'll probably get patched soon. Probably along with the talking bushes. Whoa! What's that noise about? I do feel like the game is struggling a tiny bit here. Like, I don't know if we're meant to be getting more noise than we are. Audio, I suppose they call it. But, um... Either way, it's very serene and nice. And I like this game a lot. It was really fun to play this over the last, sort of... Almost four hours. Um, <laughs> Will says my problem with Death Stranding is all the bullshit that isn't nice long walk simulator. I I am somewhat resistant to, to Kojima's specific flavor of bullshit. Um, I do like a lot of the early Metal Gear Solid games, but then... So I'll give it a go at some point. I'll, I promise you I will at one point stream uh, Death Stranding. We'll see how I take to it. Where is this? Are we back at Burnt Oak? I love that they're named after tube stations. I absolutely bloody love that. I find all the ones I used to live by. And the one I do live by. But I'm not telling you which one it is. Because that would be silly. Well, this has been... Yeah, this has been a delightful little stream. Um, yeah, we're just back here, aren't we? By an oak station. Lovely. Uh, we'll call it there, I think. Um, thank you so much for joining me on this stream. It's Like I say, it's been a, a, a lovely little delight. Um, what's coming up next? Uh, well, tomorrow I am streaming as part of D&D &D Celebration. Um, if you search D&D &D Celebration, it's, I think we're the first game to be streamed tomorrow, on, um, being Friday. Um, uh, it's a crossover between the Oxventure and uh, High Rollers. I'm going to be DMing. And then Saturday, there are new episodes of Press Any uh, I believe it's the last episode of Horizon Zero Dawn and the continuing adventures of Dishonored 2. Um, and then if you are a patron, there's all sorts of goodies coming up. There's an episode of uh, Cooking with Chiodini coming. There's an issue of Weird Tales of Adventure. Um, this is a whole ass spaceship. Um... Uh, I've got an AMA for the champions coming up. Technically, it's going to be two AMAs because I didn't manage to get around to last month's questions, but I promise I will. Uh, yeah, all sorts of stuff for you to, to check out. So um, Emma Benton has just popped a link in the chat. It's Johnny uh, patreon.com forward slash Johnny Chiodini. I'm also regrettably on Twitter, J-O-H-N-N-E-H. Um, uh, and yeah, uh, all things good. Like you a lot. Thank for watch, thank for super chat and all things. Um, the Dunboyne. Um, 
and yeah, I'll catch you very soon. I hope you have a lovely rest of the day. I'm sorry that we're now getting to this quite interesting bit just as we stop. But that's the way it shakes out sometimes. Sometimes you accidentally spend half an hour trying to climb a skeleton. So how it goes. So, so how it goes. I'm t yeah, I'm tapped out, aren't I? I've given you my best, and now I'm going to go. I'll see you soon. Take care of yourselves. Um, yeah, thanks again, and uh, have a lovely day. Goodbye!